go live. I think we're live. Sean you are live. It actually says you were live. So we're live. Well, hello. Well, hello. Thank you for everybody for joining us. You guys are going to have to forgive me. I, this is the first time I do the podcast with Taylor and I've done several live streams with the bourbon junkies, the guys that are on tonight. Uh, but this is my first one. I've been in control. So this is a scary situation. I could totally fuck it all up. <laughs> it could be a disaster. The ship could sink tonight. There the may be an iceberg. Could, shit could go down. Uh, quick caveat. This is on the second channel. So it's fully unedited, unfiltered. No chill filtering, barrel strength, talk a lot of shit, do a lot of cussing. So anybody that's like offended by that should need not apply. <laughs> what you're saying is you're like, listen, I talked to Dan and Sean from the bourbon junkies <laughs> and I thought I could live stream on my main channel, but I know Dan and they're going to get me demonetized. And I'm going to live stream on my second channel. Yeah, I, I, um, I, well, cause that's why I didn't, I can actually hear echo now. Can you? No. Uh, it'll go away. No, oh, well, it'll there, go away. There was no echo before that. No, nah, there wasn't, away. and then it just started. Um, <laughs> it's like it'll go away. No, but on the nor that's why I didn't want to do this on the normal, my main channel, because people on there get a little butt hurt when you cuss sometimes. Like they get a little weird. Like I've had people get mad when I don't edit out fucks and stuff. Sure. So I was like, I definitely cannot live stream on the main channel. That is not going to fly. Yeah, it's, it's a nice glass get there. It um. It's definitely one of those things, like, especially when we were kind of like getting going, it was like something that we ran polls on our YouTube channel several about. times. Yeah. Like, Listen, do we, do you, do, do you care? Should we stop? Like, or you literally couldn't care any less and as, 80%. as we were growing. Yeah. As we were growing, we, we ran multiple polls because it was like, we did it when we were really small and we gained a little bit and then we got a few more feedbacks. It was like, Hey, you guys shouldn't swear. We're like, all right, well, some people must care about this. We do more polls, and people are like, no, nah, we don't fucking care. Most people. Eighty <laughs> well, percent. When I started the second channel, because I wasn't going to monetize this channel, and I wasn't worried about the the cussing and whatnot, I did the same thing. I asked people, I said, hey, what are you thinking? It was almost unanimous. Everybody's like, no, let the fucks fly. Like, right. we're all adults here. We're here right. to talk about whiskey and cigars and shit. Like, let's 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 let the fucks fly. But I did still, even with that, have a few people after I dropped. They weren't used to me dropping as many f bombs. After sure. when I first started doing a couple of videos, they were like, "Hey, so you think you could maybe? Why did I just go like Minnesota on there? You, uh, you went a real Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, can you maybe edit the fucks? And I'm like, ah, sorry, man, I can't. That's what the main channel's for. This channel, we let the right. fuck fly. So, anyway, but tonight the Bourbon Junkies, thank you guys very much for coming on the inaugural live stream here. Thanks for having us, thank sir. Having yeah, us, man. Buddy. And we're testing, as you can see in the title. Dan and Sean were kind enough to send me these four samples of Wickle Whistle Piss. I mean, Whistle Hold on. Wickle Piss. Hold on. Yeah. Wickle Pig would be a better name. I'm gonna be <laughs> I think we got to update it. I got to. Whistle piss um, because I, and I think I've been on you guys stream. I have very been a very strong advocate of the fact that whistle pig is kind of garbage. Yeah. Whistle pig was going to come on as a sponsor. And then you came yeah. on. And they, they <laughs> they actually it. <laughs> Thanks for ruining that for us. You're a yeah, Hey, by you. the way, I had somebody ask in a comment earlier. Do you know why they call it whistle pig? You guys went to the distillery. Did they tell you the story about where the name came from? I don't, I don't remember that. I don't remember it if they did. Uh, no. Okay. I thought maybe it was because they just whistled for the pig and they came over, they pissed in a bottle, and that's what this stuff was. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my. Oh. I thought maybe that's. All right. That's good night, everyone. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just I'm hey, hoping, whiskey. I, look, I give it a hard time, and I had some people be like, whatever, man. That shit's delicious. Whistle Pig's the best whiskey I ever had. And what I have to say to those people is A, you have no fucking taste buds, and B, <laughs> <gonna> be rude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, taste is subjective. I totally get that some people like it. I Sometimes. personally was really upset when I bought the 80 or $90 bottle of Whistle Pig 10 year and it was like grassy, weird, mossy shit. I was bummed out. So Dude, since then, I've talked a lot of shit on Whistle Pig. Imagine, imagine being the guy telling people that they, they're, they can't taste anything and then liking Dickel right afterwards. <laughs> imagine it. Oh, wow. I wasn't going to go there is fucking glorious uh, okay i don't know <laughs> what the hell you're talking okay i'll admit it's a weird one right sure. but it's you gotta like the nutty whiskeys nope if you don't like the nutty you're not gonna like it 
That's true. If, it's got if you've oh. got to like sour and tart, disgusting whiskey. whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell you what, I had that archive cigar and I paired it with, and I did a video and man, it was a magical fucking pairing. There was something about like the salty peanut flavor I get from Dickel with that particular cigar was fucking, it was beautiful, man. It was beautiful. I feel like you'd need like the farmiest hay cigar ever to mellow out Dickel. That I, is know, wild. I don't think you know what some people now. are saying that they get in Dickel that I do not get is people say they get like Flintstone vitamins. Yeah. It's, it's mineral. mineral. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get the Flintstone vitamins at all. Um, I, well, they also say as you age, your taste buds do get worse, right? They say that. <laughs> I, I was I was waiting to see how fucking long before the age comments. <laughs> you guys should have the same fucking taste buds at this point in time. <laughs> I, yeah, I was about to say, I will, I will just note, I think you have more gray hair than me. I have all the gray hair, dude. All of I, it, I don't. So. You definitely. I have more in my beard for sure. But like, I my hair it. actually isn't very gray. It's falling the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, it's, but it's it's not gray. Um, I, I don't know. So the beard though oh, definitely God, ages nope. me a little That's bit. That's not for me. So um, you're gonna drink whistle pig, and at, at some point you have the key for the ones I you, sent you. You put them on the top. Oh, perfect. So you want me to blind these or I, or oh, I don't really know what these are. Exactly. So it doesn't really matter to me that it says 15 years. Cause I don't know what fucking whistle pick 15 years supposed to taste like. Yeah, well, I did, uh, 15 I mean, years they're, old. They're no, but I mean, I did no research. I don't know which one of these are expensive, which one of these are hard right. to get, which ones aren't wow. like none of this means shit to me, but like if you that. want me to blind it, I can certainly get the wife to come up here and pour these That's and awesome. make you're a good. key. No, you're good. I, I mean, hell, I realistically, those are pretty blind because more than one of those is 15 years old. So, oh, that's I true. I think three. Well, what you sent me was you sent me one that it says 15 year OP pick, 12 year finished, and A and B pick. Yep. So, you know what all those are. Yep. And you're going to drink, y'all are going to drink those with me, right? And speaking, I know exactly what it means. Gotcha. I'm going to be honest, dude. I got this. Um, <laughs> I got this extremely nice rocks glass I'm drinking out of right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, logo you know, you'll, start tri- you'll start triggering people. <laughs> people, <laughs> people get triggered. He's out of there. Well, I, I was we got I was gonna put like the paid promotion tag under here. You know what I mean? So <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not water. You know I, what problem no, I'm gonna have Kool-Aid? tonight? Liquid IV. What'd you oh say? You know the problem I'm gonna have tonight? What's up? The same problem I have when me and Taylor are doing the live stream is I can't see the fucking comments because of my old eyes. Dude, you I get a projector. Have, it's the best thing ever. I spilled that everywhere. I actually made a reference. We shot a video today that'll actually come out tomorrow because it has to. Um, <laughs> and that video has to do with a um, he calls like the a wine door basically. Oh, the wine door. Yeah, and the wine door has a light in it. And I mentioned your eyes specifically. What, what, he said uh, a light would help if you got old eyes, like five to ten. <laughs> I love the fact that I've become the group old fuck like <laughs> and you guys and Taylor and everybody. I have somehow become the old guy. Well, I guess because I am the oldest. I guess that's how that happened. I mean, choose fit. Yeah, I, mean, I guess how that was happened was, you know, when I was born, that kind of that's how that worked. Listen, dude, nothing mentioned that I I was I'm a patina, patina, patina. I'm a, sorry. That's all that I'm a God young damn. 25 right now. You're like a young 50. I just now. Dude, I was born with gray hair. Like, don't take it into consideration you know what i mean thought you were burt burt kreischer and me with that fucking kool-aid there i thought it was water (laughs) this is liquid iv and sean just poured it to rinse his rocks glass out thought it was fucking (laughs) water and i'm just like oh my god it's kool-aid destination bourbon i just saw destination bourbon in the house moderator do why do you have moderators anyway is it for dick holes that start acting stupid 100%. 100%. It's, it's when people spam chat or say dumb shit and chat or bring politics to chat. They just or boot them for us. How do I make somebody a... a, a if you a, if you click on the ellipses next to their name... Proud of you. Nailed it. Uh, nailed click, it. Yeah, if you click the ellipses, I think you can click like add moderator or something like that. Oh, I'm going to make... They don't work for me, dude. A moderator. Oh, shit, dude. The, Listen, he some, likes to boot people. I'd watch that you guy. Give Klein some power. He goes right to his head. He goes straight to his head. Oh, God. Oh, no. Head. Here he is. There's oh, a wrench. Shit. He's got the wrench, bitches. Oh, no. 
Godspeed, everyone. The Dan's at least 45. I don't know about He's that. He's just going to start kicking motherfuckers. Just boom. Just, the chat's going to drop to like 200. Just <laughs> <laughs> This is how you know you made the right person moderator. You make them moderate, and they say, oh, shit. <laughs> Game time. Uh, all right, I need whiskey that doesn't suck. Okay. I, just, I just know I can trust Klein because he's been uh, sure. on you guys' channel a bunch. Oh, I can do ADH whiskey too. Um, ADHD whiskey he said that he was in here tonight watching in a wife beater with a gold chain on. That's just my for fucking you. boy. As long as he's whispering, we're good. <laughs> Klein <laughs> said, "Talk some shit." <laughs> that's ADHD that's, whiskey right. talking shit about me. I don't need Dude. a bunch, right? Two. I made uh, destination bourbon and ADH whiskey. That's there enough, you. right? You just need a couple of them. They'll they'll fucking. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Davis Wallace said, "Yo, let me boot people." <laughs> See, that's the motherfucker. You, Davis, I love you, son. But that is the kind of thing that worries me. That you'll just start going just haywire with it, just <laughs> and fuck you and fuck you and fuck you, <laughs> just dropping it on everybody. So I poured just to kick it off because we got a bottle today and we had never had any. We never had anything finished in this. I before. wasn't excited for it because I hate the finish. What it's finished in? How about so, that? Um, it, I'm not, we don't have to talk about the or anything, but it's whiskey finished in tequila. It's rye whiskey finished in tequila barrels. Mm, that's going to suck out loud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if Dan would have said that, and then I took a drink and then you saw my face, you would have probably just guessed that. It but, smells uh, like if you made Mezcal dirtier, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor says tequila reminds him if you drained it through a sock. <laughs> I don't like, necessarily agree with that. It's because the rock sock after he worked out. That's what that is. I actually enjoy like a little bit of Patron. Okay. Patron. Patron. I'm saying like a cigar. Padron occasionally. Um, but yeah, I'm not big. I'm not a big mezcal or tequila, heavy tequila drinker. The I reason I like all Patron, mine in the dance. The reason I like Padron is because it almost doesn't taste like anything. Right. Sure. It, sure. It's very like, and you know, that kind of defeats the purpose. Are you guys smoking a cigar tonight? Oh yeah. yeah. We already cut them. Dude, I don't. What was that? We had a. You know, what's the Don Julio in the Illuminati bottle? The 1946. Yeah, that super tall triangle bottle. It's like 150 dollars a bottle. Super for, fucking cheap. Very for, affordable. We talking? What are we talking? Tequila? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. That though. stuff was really good. I did not a big tequila fan. That the stuff was fantastic. Best tequila I've ever had. Yeah. Huh. What are you smoking tonight? I'm going with a. Oh wait, I gotta figure out how to do this. I wait, where are we? Fucking. I think it's this button. Is this button? Oh, okay. look at that. I fucking know how to work. Okay. I about oh, lost my shit. Hey, Taylor, first. I don't think he's in here, but uh, it's not focusing though. Where is, is that it? a Camucho or whatever they're called? Yeah. Did you just say Camucho? There it is. <laughs> I was about to say, did you just say fucking Camucho? Definitely did. <laughs> he's like, is that Hot a Camucho? Help. It's better than when people all of a sudden get Spanish. At, can I say that drives me fucking crazy when people do that? Oh, okay, now here, now there's no accent. All of a sudden, get a heavy accent when they go to pronounce something Spanish. They're, they're like, "Yeah, so I'm yeah. gonna be drinking a camocho," and they like go into this crate, and I'm like, "You don't have an accent. Fucking stop it. Why did you just do that?" So there's a difference between mozzarella. No, it's yes. not. <laughs> Dude, there's there's oh, some yeah. people who do it unintentionally. That's what is annoying. Dan yeah. can't turn it off. Sometimes I do it for fun. Like when I say the word coil from uh oh, Ali Bradley, I say it like a Russian person. Yeah. Because <laughs> it feels like a Russian word, but I'm not doing it because it's just fun. You know, it's just I mean? dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this in particular is a uh, rum barrel aged. They have the rum barrel aged and then they have the whiskey barrel aged, right? Wait, what's the name of the Camacho? Camacho. Oh, I was so Camacho, Camacho, Camacho rum barrel, Nicaraguan rum barrel. Oh, I thought you were joking. I was so close. Oh. Oh, you know, you and you know, they're owned by Davidoff now. Oh, I didn't oh, know that. I did they have been for quite some time, I think. Really? Um, yeah. And um, they're just good, man. Have you ever had one of these rum barrel aged scars? No. What? No. Oh, Jesus. If, no. If you can't, um, if you cannot, well, I'm, you can definitely get them up there because they're readily available. Yeah. Um, I see, you know, their band, their banding is so uh, like standout, standout in the cigar industry. Why do I, I literally felt like it was cartoony, so I didn't buy them ever. You oh know guys, I mean? you got a cannon? What the hell is this? I know. What the fuck's going on? It's probably because it is. See, the problem is where my light's at. My camera's actually behind the light. <laughs> so when I get it up close to the camera, it's in front of the light oh. and it's dark. It was super fast that time. Yeah. Nailed yeah, it. Well, this isn't. No, this is a Sony, bitch. This is team you guys. This is team <laughs> you guys shit. This is the Sony. You're welcome. It looks great. But what are y'all smoking? 
What is this called? La Barba. Okay, see, there's the accent. You know what, Jeremy? You want? You know what? Just me and you. I'll leave. <laughs> Klein, can you boot him, please? No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I, I don't Sean, know the I brand. You, I'm just kidding. What? I, it's the the straight razor. Is the it is the it's a La Barba, and it's Grant Hartwig, yeah. a person from our chat and community, sent us these the other day. Uh huh. Yep. And Sean had like a bright orange label yeah, one and it that was, was fantastic. super super good. Nice. And so when Grant, I think oh. these just got here like three or four days ago from Grant. Let me grab my vampire diary. And it was like, dude, we might as well rip these because the last one that we had with this like butcher's edge thing or like this uh, straight razor on it looks sweet or was really good. So nice. I don't think I've ever had those. I'll have to look for them. I had never had one before Sean was smoking that one. And I was like, Sean's like, dude, this is really good. I'm like, man, I've seen that label and I've never bought one. And it was fantastic. It was a dapper siempre sun grown Corona. Nice. Dude, is that a whiskey Bible you got there? Or oh, yeah. So it's, it's my we have many whiskey ones. and cigar Bible. Ah, dude. I couldn't keep my shit straight without those. I really yeah, couldn't. No, it's a fantastic idea. It is. Uh, I smoke way too many cigars and drink way too much whiskey to keep track of what the fuck is what. If I don't write it down, it's it's done. Yeah. It's done. But um, Ooh, wow. I already threw a little V cut on it. With the uh, dude, have you guys used the Calibri SV cutter? Uh, yeah. we played with one, but we don't Sh own one. Opperman has one. Here's the thing Just doing one, yeah, it's a little thick. She's, she's a, thick, a thick gal, yeah, she's a, she's thick, a thick gal. She is a thick gal in comparison to like your V cutter that you sent me is actually right there because I keep it on the table. Um, because it just looks dope. The rose gold looks good. That was a, that was a good choice, I boys. That. I was, I was a um, big fan of how that turned out, but um. Do you guys still have any of those? Not the rose gold. I think we have like two black and blacks. Black left yeah. And that's it. Oh, there we go. Get, get a little plug in there. Get, yeah. get some V cutters from the bourbon junkies. But um, Thanks, guys, right there. But uh, it's, she's a thick girl. But I do like the fact that you got both kind of cutters all in one cutter, right? So you got your V cut on one side and the flat cut. And the nice thing is, I don't like the flat cutters that only cut from one side. Mm -hmm. which you would think that that's what this is because you've only got one thing. But what they did is they put us a, a blade down here. So it's not just smashing it. There's actually a right. second blade. So it still is scissoring it between two blades. Mm, scissoring. 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 Like, like, a, like, like the, uh, I was about to say something that I shouldn't say on a live stream. Just gonna get, <laughs> not my time. I was going to let you go there. Rip yeah. it. I saw you get real quiet, bitch. You're like, wait, wait for him. I scooted in. I, got I don't cold. care. About, I don't care about the monetization. I do care about cancel culture. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point there. So, <laughs> turn that. Um, Air filter. In. One of the things that I recently picked up that I am a huge fan of is this isn't a plug. I genuinely like this a lot. So, dude, you're never going to be able to see it. I don't no, know why I'm doing it. Sucks. Ours doesn't oh, do no, it. Really I got focus manual on, right? focus on. Yeah, this is a cutter, and it's a straight cutter. And it comes in from the sides like that. Oh, scissors. And there's there's a little button on the bottom here, and you pull it down, she flicks out. Dude, yeah, it, Alec Bradley like did a limited run on these, and I, I bought one the other day, and Alec was like, you did not buy one. I'm like, yeah, I just bought one off the side. He's like, are you serious? I'm like, listen, man, I wanted one either way. I just bought Dude, one. I said that about the glass that you bought. I'm like, oh, so, yeah. And you're like, yeah, I bought one. I'm like, you did what? You're like, yeah, I just bought one of those. I'm like, I, I've told you like five times, please do not buy any of my shit. Ooh. I'll just send it to you. Like, Too fuck late. that. I'll just, I'll just send it. Too late. You're like, no, already bought it. I'm like, I, well, I mean, I appreciate the support and all yeah. that, but I'll just fucking send it to you. Dude, you got to go. The paper towels are over. Well, the there's corner. a giant spider oh, on my, my fucking. Killed it. Oh, no. You put it on my lap. No, <laughs> the, legs. the legs are on my hand. Well, the body went on to me. Okay. So, um, yeah, dude, I don't listen. When it comes down to like you just see something that's cool right. and you like it and you want to support whoever's making it, you just buy it. I get it and I appreciate it, but I was planning on sending you and Sean both one anyway. So now you'll have a set of three. <laughs> and Sean won't see a single one. Yeah, I just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's like, Jeremy ever sent those? I'm like, nope. He's like, how do you keep getting them? Not out a of fan other? of spiders, by the way, if anyone's wondering. Sure didn't. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this stuff poured so it can breathe a little bit so we'll have a ride that? too which one are you gonna um when you get into the first one let me know because we still have each one of those yeah in the hot so i'll just have to go around those are the yep. two right there and then we got one over there yeah i'll just put the bottle in front 
or behind it, actually behind it. So don't come at right. me with the spider comments. No one likes spiders, okay? Sean, Sean attempting to recover. That motherfucker Dude. was right in my face, too. Dude, can I say one of the times I almost killed myself on a four wheeler was because of a spider? Oh, <laughs> no one likes spiders. Are you, you actually live where they're poisonous. Have I told this story on a live stream before? Have I, told I, I haven't heard it. I don't even think I've heard that story. So I was going down the trail on my four wheeler, and I don't know. Do you guys have? A, I just spilled that shit all fucking over. <laughs> do you guys have banana spiders there? No, N- no. You know what a banana spider <laughs> is? Michigan. Hold on, dude. We barely get bananas up here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's like hold on dude chiquita doesn't even come up this way most of the time god damn it <laughs> um well banana spiders are they can get big and gnarly bro i mean they, sure. they, are they poisonous uh mildly <laughs> <laughs> fucking florida man speed right there mildly well th- here's the thing you're gonna have a bad you, fucking day if they bite you it's like a bee sting right it's okay. not gonna you're not going to get sick. It's not going to, it just hurts. It's sure. not going to kill you. You're not going to get like, you know, it's not like a black widow where you're going to get run a fever and get sick or a brown right. recluse where your fucking arm's going to rot off. Right. It, it just feels like a bee sting. Right. So they're okay. like mildly poisonous or venomous, I guess is the word. Um, Jesus. But they get like the size of my hand. Have you never seen a banana spider? Bro, I would not live wherever they are. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> Hold on. Have you never really seen a banana spider? Seriously? No. I've never even heard of them until you said that word out loud and put them together. <laughs> <laughs> so, so while you're looking that up, uh huh, my son comes out here the other day, and somehow we start talking about tarantulas. I'm like, those things will kill you, and he goes, no, they won't. My son, f- five by the way, for people. Who oh wow, that blown out like a motherfucker. Can you see uh, that? that thing? What? Is that in a hand? No, that's just. A, why is it so blown I, out? I can just see the outline. Yeah. Dude, is it the full screen? Hold on. Oh, my phone's like on fucking ultra bright. That's probably why. See, I'm all set. <laughs> Can you see that? I don't need any of that in my life. I don't like color. I don't like when they're bright either. The spider. Yeah, I'm good on that. <laughs> no, 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 colors mean go. stay the fuck away from me in nature. Oh yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm all set. Can you see it? Yeah, that's I- good autofocus. Oh, look how quick that so- is. So I'm fucking booking down the trail on my four wheeler and um, like you ever get in that situation where you see something, but by the time you see it, it's too late to react. Yeah. Right. So I'm booking down the trail and about here, I see one almost the size of my hand. I mean, maybe not quite that big. He was probably like that big, but I saw him like at the last second and I hit the web and I was like, Oh Jesus. And I completely had a bitch moment in the middle of the woods by myself. I like jumped <laughs> off the four wheeler while I was still moving because I think there's this fucking tarantula on me. I'm fucking in this woods. Like if it's anybody saw me, they probably would have thought I was an insane person. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm picturing like Indiana Jones, right? Like right, there, this yeah. huge spider on my back and I'm out here by myself and I can't At see least it. one. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Oh, hey, uh, somebody said, hey, Allison Sire. This is my wife. I guess she said she was going to watch tonight because she said she was bored, which what does that say about me? Wait, wait, Fucking wait. Hold rude. on. Wait, she watch it she did not need to include the fact that she was bored. I, yeah, right? Hello? I'm normally on your wife's team, too, and, and you and I both know that. You normally are, but I agree oh, that, was, that, was, that was an ass move. But anyway, <laughs> so anyway, ended up that it got caught on the bumper guard uh, and the, the web had pulled it down and it was sitting on the front of the four-wheeler. So sure. I was I was good but biting the four wheeler. <laughs> I like jumped off the four wheeler doing like the four wheeler was doing at least 20, 25 miles an hour when I like fucking bailed. It was like it's not worth it. I'm out. <laughs> I just bailed out, dude. I okay. I hate spiders. I don't mind snakes a ton, like because all we have up here realistically is gardeners, gardeners for the yeah. most part. Um, spiders for me though, I cannot do spiders. Oh, here you so, go, Dan. Allison said, Dan, don't betray me. <laughs> Listen, I'm still on your team. I'm just saying that one comment was, was, was out of line. It was That's fucking it. out of line. line. Let's be honest. It was out of line. <laughs> so out of um, line. bang out of line. Holden comes out here and he's like, we, for some reason, tarantulas come up. And I'm like, those things will kill you. And he goes, no, they won't. And I go, yeah, have, have you seen a tarantula? They have fur on them. They got giant fangs. I'm pretty sure they're huge. And then he's like, they're not even poisonous. And I'm like, yes, they are. So we get into an argument. He walks into our kitchen and he goes, Hey, Google, our tarantula is poisonous. Google literally goes, Most tarantula bites are no worse than a normal bee sting. Yeah. And won't most some don't even affect humans. And I'm like, 
Like, you didn't are know you that? kidding me? That's why I like people have literally co- people have every he lives in Florida, the uh, land of you can have any not pet real. in the world, dude. <laughs> Annex Florida off. <laughs> a lot of people have uh tarantulas as pets. Yeah, I know that, yeah. but people have lions as pets, people have tigers as pets. Uh, Tiger King, settle down here. Like, <laughs> listen, I just didn't know that tarantulas don't kill people. I mean, they can. They not can. Really. Do you want to see something disturbing? Look up a bird. Uh, what was it called? A bird eating tarantula. I think it's called. Oh, I, yeah. See, yeah. Damn, dude. Those things are the size of like dogs. Like, do they just out. live in Australia? <laughs> I'm out. Okay. Dude, <laughs> if it lives in Australia, in Florida, where there is a lot of that shit. I still say fuck Australia. Like, and the thing mm. is, Australia looks beautiful. And I think yeah. I would. I would love to visit it, I think, but like they have ants that will kill you. Like literally yeah. an ant. It's called like a skipper jack or a jump, some fucking weird name. Right. Literally, it's an ant that if it bites you, you die. Like you guys have water moccasins. You yeah, but on that's that. like a big scary snake, not a little fucking ant that you barely notice and it bites your Yeah, foot but it's a snake over. that comes after you. It's also a snake that lives in the that can live in the water. Yeah. And so that means you're not even allowed to go in the water in Florida. Well, that's why yeah. you stay your ass out of like fresh water. I don't know. So go my in, brother went yeah. down for uh when Katrina happened, he went down and was doing hurricane relief and like doing uh, crane rigging and stuff like that. So they were doing a lot of stuff on the, uh, the river waves. <clears throat> so he's doing a lot of rigging for them and he's clubbing these snakes and people were like, dude, you're fucking insane. He goes, why? He goes, we call those the two step snake here. Like, they bite you. You take two steps and die. Yeah. And he was like, I was kind of done after that. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was better now. I'm, I'm, set. I'm all set. Yeah, didn't didn't understand what the water moxin was, but coming from Michigan, where I mean, it's just a snake, right? right? It's a gardener. We're good. Nope, nope. They bite you there. You die. We have wolf spiders up here, and those things get big, but they're like completely harmless. Yeah, that's, but they're like huge and terrifying. You know what I mean? Especially when they have babies on their back, and then you step on them, and like a million of them go everywhere, and you're like. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's nightmare fuel right there. When you start with a spider and like a million little babies go everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> that's worst case scenario. Yeah, with the broom and it just falls flat. <laughs> that, that's what we call it's time for the flamethrower. Yeah, you know what I mean? But whatever you're in is now it should now be on fire. Okay. Um, I will say this A B pick smells good. Okay. Are you gonna yeah, pour right. are you gonna pour it while I'm yeah, gonna, yeah, we'll grab it. Now the purpose of this live stream is to hopefully Prove to me that there are some whistle pigs worthy, right? Sure. That's kind of the point here. Because I gave whistle pig 10 such a hard time, and you guys said no, there's some good ones. So, so you now I think for like the disclaimer is you've only ever had that one whistle pig. Uh, yeah, right? the disclaimer is that's the only one I've ever had, and I was extremely pissed off by it. So the the problem with was it just regular 10? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the problem with the one that you had is I'm not saying it's the worst one, but it is, um, dude, that cork is as dry as I've ever oh, seen okay. a cork. Yeah. So it's not the worst one, but also they come, like they proof it way down. It's a premium. They're $80. It's a low proof. And it's like, it's 10 year old rye that was sourced from, I think those are from Alberta or something like that. Well, see, that's the thing that bums me out, right? Is it's like for $80, one, why are you proofing it down? Yeah. Cause that's not a cheap bottle, right? No. For, as far as whiskey goes, $80 isn't a cheap bottle. So right. why are you proofing it down? And why Ooh. if it's 10 years, which correct me if I'm wrong, but normally rice for me, rye seems to age pretty quickly, right? Like sure. a three, four year rye is usually pretty well developed. Right. Yeah. Rye rice will get there a lot quicker. still tastes young as fuck to me. It still tastes grassy and young to me for some reason. That's, <clears throat> I think that's, uh something that just comes wrong with like profiles right like that's their funk like we always talk about distilleries having their own funk on something uh -huh. and like that's kind of their note then at that point in time so if that's what you get it'll probably carry through the entire product line for you yeah well great i don't know because there's a weird minty note on the normal 10 so when we went out to vermont yeah. and went to whistlepig <clears throat> they they like when you walked in they're like any whiskey or anything in the house you can drink yeah. And there's literally whistle pig everywhere in that. There's oh, like yeah. four or five bars. In you the can't house, walk right? into a a room and not have an entire set. I mean, including the bedrooms, they had just whistle pig everywhere. It was like I just have whiskey. Nice. Okay. But so that was the first the first time I ever tried the normal ten was there, <clears throat> and I tell you what, I I put it back down and picked up a different bot. Like I don't like the normal ten at all. No, it 
it, it, it tastes grassy and mossy. Like it has like a very like wet grass, moldy, mossy kind of weird. I, there's a weird flavor in there. I do not like in the least. So just so you're aware, the proof of the one that you're on is. You got to read right to left. 114.1. <clears throat> Man. Rona. So she's got a little on her. So she's not super proof down. It does smell good. We, we were talking about that a lot when we did the um, pick and did the video of us going out to whisk pick and people gave us a lot of hate and they were like, why pay that much money for a proof down bourbon? And mm -hmm. we said, I get it. But if you can find a good 10 year store or like the white label store pick, it's where the money's at on whistle pig. I still think to date, that's one of the best bottles you can find from their entire lineup from them. Yeah. Yeah. For cost okay. versus what you're getting yeah. is the store picks. This one's not bad. That so it's, that it's, bottle, it's, it's a little minty. Like it's a, I get like a spearminty kind of vibe. Sure. On, I get that at a lot of rise though, so right. that doesn't really offend me in any way. It's not grassy though, like the ten year that I that I have. It's like very specifically kind of like a spearmint to me. Um, there's definitely a little like bitter tannic oak in the back of it. Sure. There's a decent amount of sweetness. Maybe that some one, brown sugar. Typical. That one's you know, sourced from MGP. Yeah. So that for me, this one is. Okay. So me. this one, this one, I would not be offended by. I would not say this is bad. The question though is, how much is this bottle? So the normal white label is eighty bucks, right? Mm -hmm. Eighty or ninety, I think, depending yeah. on. Yeah, so it should be around eighty. That one is a barrel proof white label, but it's fourteen and fourteen years and like nine months old, and it's ninety bucks. Yeah, I mean. I would pay ninety dollars for that all day over eighty dollars for that sure, bottle of I agree. pig piss back there. That is I, just <laughs> offensive. It's a, it offends me. It, it really. <laughs> um, it, it offends me. <laughs> Did you call it pig piss? Pig piss. I think so. <laughs> I told you that's where they get the name Whistle Pig. Like, oh my gosh. Here, girl. Come on. <laughs> we met whatever pig is still alive over there. I don't know which one it is, but. Oh, uh, that was I, I, all the rest of them died from drinking that horrible shit, dude. Which one was still alive? <laughs> I think, dude, you're supposed to feed pigs beer, right? I don't think so. Well, in small amounts, it okay. makes them taste better. Okay. Yeah. Supposedly. So I was going to say on this one, do you get like the really oily kind of fatty note in it at all? Oh, I don't know. I got to retry it. All right. Uh, Cause I do on this one. It's got a little bite to it. It got like, like a little almost kind of like a spicy kind of peppery thing. So I get uh, this you get a lot of rye, weird, right? weird note. I kind of get that buttered popcorn, fatty, oily note. And oh, it, wow. it like comes out weirdly on only a couple things. I get did you say buttered popcorn. Yeah. Oh, I, I see. I completely agree with that. I don't know about the fatty note, but I do get a buttered popcorn. So why am I getting, why am I getting that? Why am I not getting that? <clears throat> Old nose. Uh, yeah. One of the uh, <laughs> God damn. So whenever something done right now, it's because you're old. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of barrel on the end, and there's like some sweet kind of generic sweetness, maybe like a caramel somewhere in the middle there. So, um, yeah. one of the whiskeys. Somebody just asked about it in chat. One of the whiskeys that we didn't send because, dude, my hopes were so high because Whistle Pig's entry product being that eighty dollar white label seems oh, a little back. ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. So. The they released the piggyback rye last year, I think it was In early last year. Rye? I've heard a lot of people talking mad shit about that stuff. Like that, it so, yeah. Stuff. I didn't, I didn't know that the so it's a six year old rye. Yep, it was supposed to be like fifty bucks. I got super excited because I'm like, okay, an entry level whistle pig. I don't I mind over the, a year ago. Wow. I don't. Yeah, I don't mind that the the age isn't there as long as it's good, right? And at fifty bucks, that kind of competes in like the normal rye range, and then the. We bought, we got a bottle, and we I think we overpaid like twenty bucks for it to get it here faster. Early, yeah, and we opened it and poured it, and it was like, oh my gosh, that's my least favorite one, hands down. But I've heard a lot of people say they fucking hated it. That They're was like, supposed that was designed as a cocktail whiskey. That was the whole thing. They Dave Pickerel designed a uh, like a premium cocktail whiskey, which seems weird to me, but. That, that was the whole thing. They went through and did this entire big thing with a bunch of like people in the industry for like bartenders and stuff like that. And they helped create 
that product so uh-huh. they could have a premium cocktail whiskey. Huh. But well, they, he, they wanted an aged rye. Like, that's why there's an age statement on it. Yeah. They wanted an aged rye. But the problem is, dude, even at 50 bucks, that's not a cheap cocktail whiskey. You know yeah, what I mean? That, like, that's no. why I said it, it's that's, an oxymoron that's being that's a rough. premium $20 bottle yeah. for. That's rough, man. Uh, I just I just figured it when I saw comments because I'm trying to be better about interacting with the chat, but it's really sure. hard for me to see. So if I sure. find one that has like my name highlighted, I'm put it up here where I can see it. it says, yeah. is there any rye whiskeys you do enjoy? If so, which ones? I really like Pikesville. I think Pikesville is great, but a lot of people say that's kind of not that's cheating because it's like a almost like a high rye bourbon, right? Because yeah, it's it is. legal. It's illegal. So it's fifty one percent. Yeah. yeah. But I do. I that's probably one of my favorite ryes. I also really, and I might get a little hate for this because it's kind of, um, I don't know. I I feel like it's almost kind of a hipster kind of brand. But I like the Peerless. Oh, Peerless. Okay. I have a yeah. I, our it's first like bottle a, is bad. Like new age yeah. whiskey. It's like new age bourbon and rye. I don't know. They like they sweet mash. They do a lot of stuff so different than everybody else that it is kind of. I don't uh, know hipster right word, but uh, definitely like a new age thing. Uh, have you had uh, like the Willet Purple Tops? No, I have not. Hmm. Or green top, sorry. Willet green top. Purple tops rice. are bourbon. Yeah, I always do it backwards. Have you ever had Willet so. Rye? Yeah, with that. No, I have not. Willet Rye is super I, good. I feel like that'd be up your alley. I like. Um, I also like Kentucky Owl Rye. I've got a batch. Oh hell yeah! Well, hell yeah! So are we, dude? The Kentucky Owl Rye's are hits. Hits on them. hits on hits. All of them are good. Um, batch one. Mictors. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, everybody's got batch ones. Oh, he lives in Florida. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, because Alec, Alec just pulled out a batch one the other day that he got semi recently that he like loved. Dude, um, you need to try Old Forster rye too. What the hell? It's like 25 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's cheap. I like That's that another too. barely legal rye at that point. I mean, let's see. Really, uh, Dennis. Oh, I, you know, I think I'm as bad as you with the names, Dan. It's fun though. Dennis Polson. For, you my, my bad eyes, I thought it said poison. Uh, I, was like, I like, did the same thing. I said I Dennis like, J. Poison. I was like, Dennis Poison. <laughs> that was what that is what went through my brain. Dennis Poison. And then I had to like fucking take a step back and go and like blinks so my contacts focused and said, Paul. Uh, I, thought, I thought you were actually about to say my bad eye. Like one <laughs> eye wasn't focusing <laughs> up right. I've never had Balcones Rye. Oh my gosh, that shit is trash. Is it? Well, do you want to. Dennis Polson said he liked it. Well, Dennis, buddy. He's from <laughs> Texas. I apologize. That is the worst rye I've ever had in my life, hands down, bar none. So the Balcones rye is made with chocolate malt or chocolate rye. Yeah. It's made with something chocolate. And, dude, the finish is great. Amazing, yeah. And the whole rest of the experience is painful. Hell. Well, you know, what's funny is um, apparently you don't like the chocolate malt and stuff because you guys got – very harsh on um, Woodford Reserve that did the chocolate malted yeah. whatever it was. Their uh, their master's collection. And yeah. that still today is one of the biggest regrets of whiskey buying I've ever had. <laughs> it's that bad. I've never had it. It's $130. Guys, they had some of it at the my place that I usually find bottles at. And I didn't buy it on purpose because you guys talk so much shit about it. I was like, well, I'm not going to put bad. money on that. The 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 cho- and I don't know if it's so Texas whiskey gets like a pass as to wh- so when something's funky and it's from Texas, it doesn't like necessarily mean the grain no. or anything like that was bad. Just you're putting it in extremes. Yeah, Texas whiskey is weird to begin with, but then when you have something from a big brand like Woodford, and I know it's their experimental series, but it's still a big brand. It's a premium experimental Dude, series. That is that Woodford chocolate malted rye was like the worst shit you've ever put in your mouth dude for a hundred it's by far the worst 130 dollar but now sweetens cove is worse oh god well i'm out but it was i don't that chocolate malted right there's something about that i don't know if it's the chocolate malt or what it is but something about that shit that creates a really funky it's aggressive putting flavor you guys ever try the whole whiskey hat situation yeah, hold in the fumes. Yeah, I think it actually does do something. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. It traps. It definitely like, especially for it the concentrates first two that noses, nose. Yeah, after you like cap it for a little bit, the first couple noses for sure. 
I taste some like uh, taste. I smell some like red fruit. Is this one's a finished one? Is this like the finished one? Is it in what kind of barrel is it finished in? I think that's a triple finish. Um, so it depends. They have got three different things that you can throw in, in different mm, ratios that, in that there. One's not a it's a twelve year finish. Twelve year, yeah. The the bespoke blend. And they're not all bespoke. They have the normal red labels. I thought which three? What did we send him? A normal red label, oh. which is a tri I believe it's a triple finish. Yeah, but I don't know what the finishes so are. So it's port, sautern, and, and uh, port uh, might be was given it. I'm getting like a red, a red fruit kind of nose on it. Mm -hmm. Port sautern I, and cabernet, oh, maybe. It, because when I after I've it's had chance to air out a little bit, I just sure. get kind of like a minty nose. But when I cap it, it, it has like a red fruit thing when I first take it off there. I think that that bottle's gone. No, we don't have a red one here. Oh. I thought it was. Uh, we used to have a red one. I thought it was Port Sauternes and Cabernet. Mm -hmm. Reggie sent it to us. Oh, it might be on that shelf. Oh, it's back there. Oh, it's right here. All right, there's the bottle. I was like, we got to have it somewhere. Oh, Madeira. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That Madeira, might be my favorite one Sauternes so far. and Port. That one might be my favorite one so far. Yeah. 12, you're finished. That's super sweet. I knew it was a triple finish. You couldn't remember what it is. It's, it, it is. It's really sweet. It's very easy. It's not prickly or it's candy. Weird. Yeah. I mean, I don't, no, nobody could get mad at that. That would, I mean, that, I, I feel the same way about that that I do about um, early times. Huh. It's, it's sweet and approachable, and I could drink it every day. Like, sure. it's, it's, the difference is early times is $20 for a liter. How much yeah. is it? Well, dude, for a liter of that? Yeah. If they made a liter of that, I think much, that's probably 150. Is that a hundred for that? The 12 year? It's well, it's around a hundred to 120 for that bottle. Yeah. God, dang. Here's and what I'll just get. knocked a hundred off and we're like, pretty much the same thing. <laughs> well, I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's not the same taste, but it just it kind of has that same feel to me of it's sure. kind of a red yeah, fruit sweetness to me, which is the same thing I get from early times, strangely enough. Right. Yeah. Um Somebody's asking That'd me. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep up with these comments, but I am horrible at it. Uh, dude, there's, there's, it does come a point in time. Well, you also having guests on makes it really hard, mm -hmm. and then having a lot of people in chat makes it really difficult. So you get two things working against you, and old eyes, which three. Yeah. So if if yeah. both eyes are old, then you got four. Oh you know no, what I mean? Brent Bailey Can't says, "Have you tried uh, mid Midwinter's Night Dram from High West?" Uh, no. I have not. I have. Oh I gosh, do actually. It uh, High West. Um, I just want to bring out like your rendiverous rye, right? as I call it. Rendiverous rye. I know it's trying <laughs> to do. I call it rendiverous rye. Um, I like that one also, um, but I've not had Midwinter's Night. It, I have not found a bottle of that. If I ever find a bottle of it down here, I will grab it, but I've never seen a bottle. In you heard Dan's feelings. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> That's, That's like, like that one of the ODs. It. It'll change your life. Uh, somebody else asked uh, Johnny B. Ask uh, you guys at Bourbon Junkies. Oh, add me. Uh, have you ever tried Glenfiddich Experimental Series products? I don't know if I don't think so. I've had we have a firing cane, but I don't know if that's experimental or not. I think not. that's just a mass release, though. Okay. Like, um, I haven't had any. <clears throat> Taylor's in here. Is um, he? Have, he said whistle pig tastes like grass, and you put it in like uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. Dude, it does. It fucking drives me crazy. Where's Taylor? There's Taylor. What up, Taylor? Um, the Glenn Finish experience, dude. Hear hear me out on the name of this one bottle that they did years ago that we were just introduced to. Oh, the Phoenix. It's called the Snow Phoenix. Oh, yeah. Actually, yes, Allison, come up here. That would be fantastic. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. She did. Like, if you need help, I can come up there. I'm like, yes, because you can fucking keep track of these comments, so I can not be trying to do it. Dude, Sorry, go ahead. I just do no, it. No. And I apologize. The name Snow Phoenix in in the world of whiskey is amazing. It's pretty awesome. Snow Phoenix. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Good luck, everybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Hmm. I, By the way, speaking of something, that, that kind of reminds me of like Sorry. some like comic book yeah. dorky kind of shit. Snow Phoenix. Mm -hmm. uh, not that I'm downing that as a dork because I got. I mean, I was. Did you? You're not watching it, are you? The, the, the stupid Lorian dude. Get the fuck out of here, Dan. Look at Bye. Sean watches it too, which is why did this made it even today, better. Sean, did you watch this today's episode? Not yet. Don't ruin it for me. Oh my god, it's good. It's fucking really good. So Dan's good. just off the podcast, by the way. Now he's gone. Uh, Dan's I, gone. I, I won't I won't ruin it for you, but 
Well, you know who's going to be on this episode, though, right? Baby Everybody's Yoda. talked about it. Baby Yoda's always on it. Uh, did Baby Yoda eat more babies yet, or what's the deal with that? With the eggs? Oh, so you are watching it. No. I, uh, there, was, there were news. That was apparently so disturbing. There were news articles. Somehow I saw news articles that Baby Yoda ate some kids. Eggs. A eggs. Oh. That's not Which, the same. That's all the fucking dude. That is all the snowflakes that want to get offended by everything. We're like, he was eating fetuses. No, he yeah. wasn't eating. He was eating eggs. Fucking mm -hmm. eggs. Unfertilized Never eggs. Never eaten I uh, eggs. I eat a lot of eggs. I know. Let I me tell you. Eggs. Here's the thing. And they specifically said that they were unfertilized, right? Yep. So unfertilized. They're like, we're good. We covered it. Are you serious? Yeah. It was a whole thing. Dude, the article that popped up in my news feed said. Yeah. Baby Yoda, disturbing scene with Baby Yoda eats babies. I swear to God, that was the title. Now, I just now I envision just, like fucking him, like blood dripping. Yeah. What, <laughs> I was like, I thought Baby Yoda like wasn't hyper aggressive in the show. Could, could no, have been dude, he's a baby. He can't even yeah. fucking talk. He's fifty years old. Yeah, get it hold together. On, hold on. Let's not get it twisted. Thing, though, if baby Yoda. If Baby Yoda was a straight murderous badass, nobody would be upset about I it. I want him to have a red lightsaber just exactly. ripping around. Yeah, just <laughs> Pull like a Yoda, like he did in that one episode of when you've never seen Yoda fight yet, and he's like limping around with a cane, and all of a sudden yep. he's fucking yeah. backflips and shit, cutting people's yeah. heads off, and you're like, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I want Darth Yoda. Fucker just broke bad. What the hell just happened? <laughs> um, but uh, well, somebody just asked something pertinent. Hold on, I'm over here talking about the fuck. Oh no, uh, Taylor, funny. email it to uh, bourbonjunk at gmail dot com. What? He just say he had something to send. Oh, okay. Uh, what's your favorite burbit? Burbit. Jesus fucking Christ. What's your favorite burbit? Your favorite budget bourbon. Mine is well, early time shit. all day. I'm on team Sean with the early okay. time. All right. Come on, dude. First I'm off. Just saying, yeah. it is, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that because I, I really truly think that's my favorite budget bourbon. It was in my blind taste test. It came out on top. Came out number one, man. Yeah, for Dan too, pretty much. Every time. Blind. Blind. Yeah, you didn't, didn't triangle it. Fire. Um, dude, this thing is. So, you say that, and Sean says that, and guess what? It's going away, so everybody can say someone, bye bye. Someone also asked earlier what's happening with early times. Mm. We sold the Sazerac. It's now going to be pretty much a blend of did light whiskey. Did you hear the new update from like now? No, it's gone. Oh, they bought it to discontinue it. There's a there's a very real possibility she gone. What if the they if they that, bought right? it if they bought it just so they could be like that's just to kill the competition, dude. Sazerac is going to buy every like twenty five to thirty dollar brand. <laughs> you know what they're going to do? I'm sure it's just Buffalo Trace now, bitches. No, I'm sure they'll kill it and then create Revival. a new label and brand for it, dude. If if they, if nothing else, Sazerac is there's nobody better on the planet at creating Marketing. new labels every single year mm -hmm. with the same whiskey. Yep. Then Sazerac. They God, create that. 14 new wellers every month. They we got 72 EH Taylors coming out next year. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, it's going to be the non-tornado survivors. <laughs> they took all the the wood and the the ground and juiced everything out. Dude, well, just, it's just it is what it is. If early times is gone, then I'll say Old Forester 100 oh. signature. That that um, if, if early because I mean those are my two that are right over here. You can actually see them. Yeah, but I keep on like out in front of my bar for like you know daily drinking is sure. early, uh, early times and old Forester one hundred. So if what, early what's yours? Like, my favorite daily. Yeah, like budget. Oh, what's budget? Mean? I wish you wouldn't have said budget, dude. I was, I was gonna, gonna say, drop well, a I, fifteen on purpose because I knew because of your fucking. This You're fucking like, yeah, kid. You know, Pappy 25. I'm like, you fucking dick. It's because you okay, have. So, what's considered budget? I would say, like, what, under 30? Okay. Um, I mean, some people would probably say under 20, but I would say under 30s. Dude, I would know. There's no, I don't, I don't have a whiskey I love that much under 20. That's the problem. You no. know what I mean? Old I'll, Forester I'll 100, you love that shit. I thought you liked Old Forester 100. Well, 100's ahead. not under 20. 24. She's <laughs> over here putting her hand up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Man. Yeah, we were just talking about. It. You got to pay attention to the fucking chat. I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna help. You got to pay attention. Okay, so That's incredible. <laughs> Man, I, I mean, under thirty. If you were gonna take old no, under thirty, Man, not under twenty. Under thirty. I might take like Wild Turkey One Hundred and One. Oh my! You what in the hell? 
No, you under would thirty. Not. No, you wouldn't. Well, early times is gone. He already yeah. took uh fucking well, old Forester. I mean, you could say the same thing if that's well, really your so favorite in that it. price range. And fucking that's say it. Part is it mine would probably be old Forester hunter proof. Yeah, I'm or trying to do other proof. things. Yeah. It wouldn't be Wild Turkey 101. Trying to do different things here, Dan. Wild Turkey like actually finished things. well in my blind also. I think it finished second or third. Yeah, what came in last? <laughs> Buffalo Trace? Yeah, I did. Hey, Dan. Dead last, actually. This is how, dude, uh, I swear to God, you have the weirdest palate on the planet. I do. Dickel, great. Okay. Whistle Pig? No, I'm not. I, I give you some of the hey, Whistle Pig complaints. I will Bottle under 30. Yeah. That isn't Wild Turkey. Or old force. It wouldn't be wild turkey anyway. Yeah, pick one. I'm trying to pick different things. Or early times. Well, early. Trace. Okay. Well, <gasps> welcome to oh, Eagle hell. Bears 32. Exactly. That would be one of them. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna go with regular Elijah Craig. That's under 30, right? Um I, I'm just I not oh that might be like 30. I would yeah. rather so I've been drinking a bunch of store picks of Elijah Craig, and I forget how much better they are than regular Elijah Craig. Uh-huh. So I would say store pick Elijah Craig's perfect. Uh store pick larcenies are also very cheap way better than regular That's larceny true. um stuff like that is what i really like to gravitate towards if i'm just gonna sit down and have a drink yeah but yeah. i i understand not everyone has that availability i got it 100 proof very old barton yeah the white label they don't make it old barton no well, they, do, it, they, they used to make it bottle and bond yes. it's now just 100 proof. some people say the old granddad's pretty good old granddad 114 114 That's, dude if you like yeah. jim beam flavor profiles you'll probably love all grand at 114 and it's a great value at 28 bucks or whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna highlight this just because he's such a dick face. Hold on. Let me find it. I, is it please tell me it's Taylor's comment? It is Taylor, that motherfucker. <laughs> what is that? His favorite under 30, case of truly. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I fucking hate him so much. Even when I'm not on a podcast with him, he still has to fuck with me. That's a, that's a solid comment though. That is that is that's a, that's a sign of a true friend. He's going to fuck with you no matter where. You can't get away right. from him. They're going to fuck with you constantly. Right? I don't. We've, do you do beer at all, Jeremy? Uh, rarely, man. And if I do, it's usually Guinness or, or some kind. I shouldn't say Guinness, but it's usually some kind of stout. Like a, okay. uh, I really like there's bourbon barrel stout that I really like. Um, I will drink a Guinness if I'm at a yeah. restaurant because it's pretty available. Um, but man, I honestly cannot even remember the last time I drank a beer. See, like, I drink I, beer. I it's been. Eight months or longer. Oh. I've had oh, a beer. Damn. Been a day. No, I just I'm not a big beer guy, man. They, they fill me up. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, I can. I would much rather sip a whiskey and and smoke a cigar. Um, occasionally I'll drink a stout, but um, no, not a huge beer guy. See, I, 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 I do just the beer to get away from whiskey sampling. Just to just to maybe have a little better palate and just for the experience, you know, maybe because I've heard some people say some of these new craft beers and stuff, there's some really good pairings with different craft beers and cigars. We had that one last or on Tuesday. There's some craft beers now that are grant who also sent to the, these cigars, he sent us some beers. We had that, uh, bourbon barrel, uh, stout. It was in like pistachio and some coconut. Yeah, dude, that was was insane with a cigar. Um, dude, dude. Bourbon, bourbon barrel stouts are good, dude. With the pistachio with the cigar, got yeah. like really sweet. Oh, perfect! It was amazing. It was like pistachio pudding, kind of actually. Mm. Like it had that one that strong, but no, it but definitely, it yeah, it the, definitely had that weird, creamy amazing. pistachio flavor. You don't like pistachio <laughs> pudding? Really? Hmm. Winner's breath thinks that you should lose your man card for no beer. I just wanted to point that out. <clears throat> you don't want to taste it? <laughs> Go ahead, taste it. These things are holding on like crazy. Yeah, Dude, this is a great fucking cigar. Oh, Easy draw. Don't want to hurt you. Fantastic. Um, okay. Dude, I'll, so I'll let Allison try the uh, twelve year finished. I need it's you to highlight Alex comment real quick when you get just a second. No, that was the first one. That, I'm gonna move this one off camera. Actually. I mean, you can ask me, Alec. What do you need me to do? Highlight Alex comment real quick. Where is it? AB cigars, Alec. You can kick him out of chat if you want. Don't 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 ask me that one. Uh, uh, Destination Bourbon could kick him out. So we did a pairing with him Tuesday on our live stream. Yeah. Um, and he Zachary has beat our ass. So. Dude, okay. <laughs> also, shout out to Zachary Hess for sending a package to us that was uh, addressed to me. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. 
like, 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 why am I getting mail here? She said it's terrible. She's not a fan. Which one? The AB. Uh, 12, I was about to say AB. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> the, taste like buttered popcorn. No, that was the first one. No, this one's the one that should, it was very red fruity to me. She said buttered popcorn. Sweet. No? Nothing. She didn't like Wait, it. She, she said buttered popcorn. No, that was on the. She said it did not taste like butter. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, it just okay. smells like it. All right. No, she was thinking because she probably heard us talking about that first one. Oh, this, okay. I gave her the twelve year finish. There's no butter popcorn, popcorn in the twelve year finish. I heard butter popcorn. I was like, fuck yeah. Like three of us. No <laughs> butter popcorn. <laughs> I, too much I will say so far, I am at least changing my opinion to a degree of not thinking that all whistle pig is horrible. I I'm still excited for your next one. I don't know if it's worth the price necessarily. Sure. That's fair. Um, but I definitely will stop talking quite as much shit because both of those were, I mean, leaps and bounds better than that 10 year. Yeah, I agree. Um, this one is right the there. OP pick. The Okay. What's, what's the deal with the OP pick? Uh, I'll tell you if you drink it. I was going to say that's the one that we've been drinking because we knew that was your next one. Yep. Oh, is it? I'll give you the the details on the the deets situation. Ugh, that felt dirty. Mm. You said deets. the deets on the yeah, sitch. You sound like a high school. Yeah, the girl. deets on the sitch. That one smells a little spicier. Okay. There's I thought this one would be more up your alley. Sweetness in that one, like not as much. When I say sweetness, not as much red fruit sweetness. There's a little bit of a caramelly situation. It going is on. a hundred and eight point two proof. It smells hotter than that. So. Jeremy, you've had the, I know you've had it because you sent it to me. The first time I ever saw, I think it was a picture you texted me, was Did the Cookie that? Monster cigar? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, um, so he re released those into like some of the luxury cigar clubs, like shot the people supporting luxury cigar club. Shops. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And Charles Vanessa sent us a couple of them because we don't have the only ones in Michigan are like two hours, two or three hours from here or something like that. And so he sent some up. So I had one the other night. There's still one in there for you. And if you don't smoke it soon, I'll smoke it. I know. <laughs> so I had one the other night. That's a good cigar. I thoroughly enjoyed that Cookie Monster cigar. The Cookie Monsters are good. Um, I really, I like it in Lancero too. I mean, I've sung yeah. the praises of Lancero's many yep. times. Yeah. I, paired it. I don't even remember what I paired it with. God, your life is just a blur, huh? Five things. I don't know. You know what's really good is this one that's coming out next month. Dude, that thing is actually working perfect because it circulates it and pushes it back up into there is what mm. that is. This is the one that's coming out next month in the LCA. Is that the the, the chicken one? Yeah. The chicken. There we go. Where's the fucking thing? It's like the bucket, right? Yeah. Yeah. The death bucket. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's KFC. Yeah. It's it's actually really good. I uh I, I really keep seeing the I saw that I keep seeing that band everywhere on like Instagram and stuff. God damn it. I highlighted that comment and I was hoping you didn't click it. What? <laughs> This one, Jeff Code. The one that I uh, yeah. favorite. What is your favorite all-time whiskey and why? You don't want to click. You don't want to answer that one. It's rough. That's a hard one. That it like, is rough because I. What's I, your favorite movie? What What's right. your favorite song? Like, ah, dude, like, there's so much good shit out there in the world. Naming yeah. number one all time feels so fake to me. Nah, really. Nah, I'll do it. <laughs> Hold on. I, I feel like we're probably going to say the same thing. <laughs> you say Dickel, I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> He's like, I'm leaving the fucking stream. Sweetens Cove, I guess. Uh, wait, what's yours? Dude, that would be real hard for me. Okay. Um, I, <sighs> mm -hmm. Dan said easy. You go. I, I got two off the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, no, you got one favorite. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, but one favorite. No, no, they live in different worlds. Are we talking? Oh, no, no. I said no. What? Are we talking scotch, whiskey, everything? All the whiskey. So I have, I have a favorite scotch. It's not what the question is. Which might be my favorite whiskey of all time. Of course, Taylor says Lagavulin. Okay. Taylor says Lagavulin 16, of course, because he's okay. Taylor I, likes I, American Prairie. We got to get him some good whiskey. You know I what I mean? Unless Taylor, it's finished. In his free time, does colon shots of Lagavulin. He just sticks <laughs> a bottle in his ass and stands on his head. He 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 loves the Lagavulin so much, dude. It's not bad. I think he wants to have intercourse with the bottle. <laughs> oh, sounds painful. Uh, I, think, I think he does. It feels doable. I. OGD, go with that. You know what's here. The Coke can. Yeah. Um, 
Okay. okay. That's why I'm saying okay. it's hard to say what's your favorite all time whiskey. That's everything. Like pick a, pick a pinnacle of everything. Okay. It's either. Nope. I, these are now my rules. For you didn't summit Everest and say, you know, that one is okay. the same height. I'm going to go to that fucking would, peak. Would, would you say your favorite all time whiskey is the whiskey you reach for the most often? No. no. Nope. No. I'd say it's the exact opposite of that. Yeah. It's one that you. It's the best thing you've ever had. It's one that I can't afford to reach for almost you, ever. You judge every other whiskey because of this whiskey in existence. Here's the problem. That changes literally every week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mine's either Octomore 8.3 right. or which is the Masterclass one. 8.2. Sure. It, I don't know if that's true, but it's the I'm Masterclass one. I'm pretty sure because I'm supposed to buy that. Google it on your phone. For Jeremy when I go back down to the store that is in, in existence in Detroit. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it's eight two. Okay, so one that we have, it's it, whichever one's eight point something. It's yeah. a master class, and then or it's King Kentucky. Yeah, those that's See, I haven't had King Kentucky. I would up until recently there was a couple different Isla Scotches. I would have said in the Scotch realm that was my favorite. Since I've gotten into this Octomore, I that's why I said my favorite would change weekly. Just about mm -hmm. I'm always liking new stuff, but I would say the new Octomore ten year that I have is probably my favorite current Scotch. Um, bourbon, I, I don't, I, you're going to think that I'm bullshitting, but I, I would almost say early time. <laughs> I fucking love early time so much. I just really love it, but I know it's, I reach, it's a cheap bottle it. I reach for a lot. So that's not what you want. Well, so I think there's a difference oh, from me. What, what is it? The, uh, Joseph Magnus cigar malt. Yeah. I, that's out there. I <laughs> love that shit. I really, I really like it. I really, really enjoy that with a cigar. It's really WLW, okay. King Kentucky, okay. Lost Profit 22. See, all these are the same thing, though. Old Carter. All bourbon. Like, yeah, they're all amazing. Octomore's up there for fucking sure. Uh, yeah. I think the Octomore is... So... Old, I, uh, Parker's Heritage, the Heavy Char Rye. That's pretty good. Like, I wouldn't put see, that. I haven't had some of that. Oh, it's so good. So I think hope. there's a difference between your favorite whiskey of Victor's all time... Victor's 25. And the, I can keep doing this. Is the problem? I wish you'd shut up. So I'm, here's, I, 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 I <laughs> just keep listening bottles for the rest of the night. Like two married people. I yeah. wish you'd shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a difference between like our favorite whiskeys we've ever had. Yeah. And the whiskeys we would drink. Okay, if they're, I bet our lists are different than even what Sean or I just said. If you said you can drink one whiskey every day. I mm -hmm. wouldn't pick either of those whiskeys. Eagle Rear 17. I w because the the King Kentucky, they're both of the things we just mentioned, or that I mentioned, that you agreed with those mm -hmm. two at least. Those are very heavy. They're yeah. both barrel proof. There's like a lot going on. Yeah. Every day, I'm not looking for that. No. There's just not. If Dan's a nine o'clock drinker. He sometimes wants a beer in the morning. I had one yesterday. In the morning. Yeah. Okay. This OP pick actually on I'm tasting different than what I was smelling. I actually okay. think it's a pretty good amount of sweetness on this, but it is way spicier and spikier than the what was the last one I just drank? The 12 year finished. This oh, one. Oh yeah. No, no, no. This yeah. can be much more abrasive than that. Yeah, it has a very spiky kind of hot note on the end. It's not unpleasant. Um, right. it, it's fine. Uh I feel like it's a little thicker. I feel yep. like it's, it's a little thicker. You're jumping 43% to 54%. Mm. So it's still and the red one, the one you had before, like we finish. mentioned, is very is obviously very heavy finished. finish. This one is a straight rye. It definitely it gives you the mouth tingles. <laughs> it's got the, got the where you, where your mouth almost goes a little numb kind of situation. Yeah. That's also I thought this one would be more up your alley. Far too long. I like swish it around like mouthwash because I'm weird. Oh bold move. Ooh, old move cotton. That is good. I like the other two better. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hateful. Yeah. Hateful. That is hateful. That's the pick that we did out in Vermont. That was our pick. Hateful. <sighs> um, it's Back good. Then. It's it's again. <laughs> it's far better than the ten year by tenfold, right? Sure. Because yeah, I would I think, actually, yeah, I would actually pour a glass of this and drink it and enjoy it. Where sure. if somebody poured me that, I would probably break the fucking bottle over their head because I'd be like, "What are you trying to give me poison?" Um, <laughs> but I, I feel I feel very strongly about the ten year. If you haven't, I haven't noticed. No. Um, I actually, 
this might be better than the a b pick but i definitely do not like it as much as the 12 year finish well so but this is this is why i have to a b him. hold on this is why the whistle pick thing's so interesting whichever one you like because the a and b pick is uh store in michigan they do mm-hmm. really good picks we get a lot of picks from them yeah we like their shit a and lot they that pick from them was sourced from mgp and is almost 15 years old yep and then the opperman pick um is 15 H-W. years old and it's from harem walker yep which is a, a different source in Canada, yep. right? So these different pick when you go and like taste the barrels, we taste it through five. And when you go and do it, like they they source from three different people. Yeah, it's wild. So you're you're picking from sources from different like Alberta, MGP, yep. Aaron Walker, right? Mm-hmm. So and you don't know they just pull all barrels, thief stuff out. You do your tasting, whatever you want. They walk and they're like that's your barrel. Yeah. So nice. the thing is, is if MGP is your like if that's your profile preference mm-hmm. or if Heron Walkerville is your profile preference or Alberta, like the store picks differ vastly because they can be from three different sources and, and any age from 10 to 15. So that's why like, if you don't like one of the store picks, it's unfortunate because they do cost 90 bucks. Right. Yeah. If you don't like a store but, pick, you yeah. might love another store pick. I, it, it's completely random chance based on, who was picking it basically but. back to the store picks being by far the best value of, of whistle line? pig. Yeah. yeah. Hands down. You're, you're normally getting something that is well over 10 years, uh, single barrel product. Amazing. In my opinion, I think the, the single barrels are great for 90 bucks. 90. Uh, I mean, roughly, do you want to pay 80 for the regular 10 barrel no, or 10 year no. barrel? No. I don't know, man. I'm having a hard time picking between those two, actually. Oh, I like that question. What is it? How Keith it? Schmidt. Keith Schmidt. I already know the answer. Uh, he said, Dan, which bourbon is Sean most wrong about? And then, Sean, which bourbon is Dan most wrong about? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you guys are going to say, which bourbon I'm most wrong about. Yeah, it's so easy. <laughs> Schmickle. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the one that you guys absolutely... Give me a million dollars of shit for on a regular basis. <laughs> but I don't it's know. A, I don't know that you either one is from my side. I don't. There's neither one of you guys that I, I there's one that you have that I'm like, oh, that's horrible. Uh, Sean's you, is Antique 107. Oh, wow. I I didn't think you'd say that. Yeah. Yours is a JW Dan. That's fair. It's not good. <laughs> I thought you were going to say JPS Brown. <laughs> what was funny was the look of defeat on your face. You you said, you're like, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. J- J- JW Dan and JTS Brown are some cheapies. Yeah. And Sean is bougie when it comes to cheapies. Somehow. Yeah. The only thing you like, get ultra bougie and wheat. I get, yeah. I'm listen. I, when it gets expensive, I'm there for it. When it gets cheap, <laughs> Sean is not there for it. Like, <laughs> but mine is the best cheap bottle ever. Yeah. The really can Duh. It's can gone. I say that, uh, I'm going to go back. I kind of, this is probably going to piss a lot of people off. And this you and this is funny. This is a, a good example of how I feel like your your taste develops through your your whiskey. I don't want to say journey because I feel like that's like a thing, but um your taste buds develop the longer you drink whiskey, right? Right. This is something that used to be my favorite and now I could give two hot fucks about any of it. Sure. Any any of the Weller products. Yeah. It's fair. I just don't care about them. And Weller 12 used to be, I, I would tell everybody that was my favorite. I love Weller 12. And now I'm just like, don't give a fuck. Probably one of my least favorite. Yeah. Um, we, well, we talked about in the past. Taylor. Um, <laughs> what, what cigars have you done that with? I know you, you smoke a lot more than we have, but we've talked about cigars that we've fell in love with early, the same as whiskey. Uh-huh. And we've come back to and been like, eh, okay. Um, so what cigars did you love early on in your smoking adventure that you come back to and you're like, well, I was wrong. You know, I don't know that honestly, I don't know that I have one of those because I still love all of them. I don't really, unlike something like Weller, um, that I used to think there was a lot of hype about. Um, and I used to really like that. Now I'm just like, eh, I could give or take it because I've had so many whiskeys that are so much more available and not so much craziness that i'd like as good or better that yeah. i'm like who gives a fuck um cigars i don't i haven't really hit that where like there's because i don't feel like cigars aren't as 
hard to get is whiskey, right? Like a lot of cigars, yeah. if you want it, you just go to JR Cigars and you buy it, right? Sure. Or whatever. Um, I don't know though. I'll have to think about it for what do you have one that you like started when you really liked in the beginning of you smoking cigars and now you don't like? I can't think that of I don't one. like. Um I put I less value you on uh, the Liga. What's that? The 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 Liga T fifty two. I put really? I put a lot of stock in those early. I and still love them, but I I value them a little bit less nowadays than I used to. See, man, I feel like I every time I go back to that cigar, it reaffirms that I love it. Every time, because I'll go months without having one of those, and then every time I smoke one, I'm like, yep, I think, fine. man, I want to say the last one I had wasn't great then, because yeah. it just didn't hit the same. Like it didn't hit my heartstrings and was like, dude. This is what I love. I maybe I had a bad one. That you might have. Or it could have been a bad day too, man. Sometimes I've had cigars where, like, I don't know if it was a bad cigar or just a bad meal prior to, or a whiskey that wasn't pairing with it well. But I've just been like, oh, this cigar is not what I remembered. And then the next day, it's fine. So yeah. you know, just like whiskeys. Oh, there's a whole lot of shit. Was I think for uh, honestly, dude, a I lot of people smoke, said acid. I smoke so much less Rocky Patel stuff, and I went back to oh, one, wow, and yeah. I'm like, I don't like yeah. this as much as I, I used to. I remember we lost our That's shit fair. when they were like two for 10 on the was it the Rocky what, Patel 10s, 15s? 15s? Yeah. yeah, we were like, dude, oh my god, I don't know the last time I've even walked into a humidor and been like, oh, that's cool, I'll buy one of those. I mean, it's nice because they're so widely available, yeah, you can find them everywhere, but. I love loved them at first, and now like going back, I still like the sun groans, but yeah, those sun 15th, groans are good. Yeah, the fifteenth the red anniversary, ones, right? Yeah, yeah, white and red. The fifteenth anniversary, I used to love so much, and I went back and I'm like, you know what? This wasn't as good as I thought it used to be. Yeah, I don't hate them. But. I think I've just smoked a lot more cigars that the T52 like kind of it That's was right. the Everest for right. me, and everything else is kind of yeah. caught up to it for me. Yeah. And it, it's still great, but I, I don't value it three times better as a lot of other things tried, now. Have you ever had a T-52 flying pig? No. You should have one. Of I those, have dude. seen them. I've not bought one. Grab one sometime. It's a little bit okay. of a different experience, and uh, it's just a fun smoke. I just enjoy oh, it. All right. They're, dude, they're good. You get a little bit zilla. different. It's a fatter gauge, and you get a little transition. Yeah, you look at that like three-and-a-half-inch cigar, and you're like, is that still worth fucking $15? Yeah, yeah. Dude, it does smoke for about an hour, though. Really? Yeah, because it's that, it, it's a big ring gauge. It's a yeah, fat dot. It, I mean, it's a big old thick bar girl in the middle. <laughs> um, I thought this was a good uh, favorite pairing of any cigar drink food ever. I personally, as much as I love whiskey and cigars, and I do love whiskey and cigars, I like coffee and cigars more. You give me like a nice, and I always forget what it's called. What's the fucking thing called? With the fuck the thing, the espresso and the milk, but it's, latte. No, but it's it, it's yeah. No, I mean I get you latte, but no, it's it's almost like 50 50 Where a latte, there's a lot of steamed milk. This is, is like, cappuccino. No, <laughs> no. I'm just gonna use really generic coffee pumpkin here. spice latte. Oh yes, cordita, cordito, cordito. Oh, I don't know. Never this. even heard of that. It's it's God, so bougie. the same thing as a latte, except okay. it's. it's it's just called me bougie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so did I. <laughs> um, no, I. Um, it's it's like two ounces, two two and a half ounces of espresso, and then like two ounces of milk, right? Steam milk. So okay. where a latte, you put like two ounces, and then like four six ounces of milk. So it's you know a lot more watered down. It's more espresso forward, right? Okay. Oh, I like that. Um, so I take your word. This I, man right here knows his fucking coffee. You, you get I know good, that. You get a good gordita. Is it cort, cortado? Cortado. That's what it is. Okay. Is that what I said? You get a good cortado and a nice Maduro cigar. Dude, I'm telling you right now, the Magic Toast. That's what I was going to say. Alec Bradley with a Magic coffee. Toast is a damn good. It's a damn good coffee. Dude, uh, the HVCs. Yeah. Are also the, of amazing. You're talking uh, about the cigar club one. Yeah, yeah, that is a fantastic fucking coffee <laughs> cigar. <laughs> a lot of cortados. Taylor. Taylor, you keep it up, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my moderator after you. Is Destination Bourbon still in here? 
Best station. Uh, he might be. I think. I think Matt just. I think Matt's streaming. He might be in Matt's now. Both uh, your mods went, dude. Both, both your mods are gone. Went. And Taylor's in here just fucking loose. I'm gonna have to That's get. Why my I need to live stream more? He's in here loose. Need to live stream more, so you know he's gonna show up. You just mob them. Call me an old fucker. If my moderators were here, they would not stand for such atrocities. <laughs> um, where's my boy? Where's my other boy that wanted to be a moderator? Said he wanted to boot some people. <laughs> well, I, I recognize a couple names. I can I can throw some out there for you. Where um, is he? Dude, Power Caper. He's a good one. It, wasn't it Davis? Davis Swallow that was earlier that was like, oh, I want to boot some shit. folks. Taylor said, "Mod me." I'm not modding <laughs> you, motherfucker. I'm going to kick you out if you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh man that's so funny um it's dude that's i haven't had so here's my problem with that type of drink because probably because we're american uh -huh. you love sugar no no i don't oh. i drink okay you shut your mouth and listen to me right now you folgers drinking motherfucker uh it's tim hortons bitch I, sean k cups everything because he's so lazy i'm so fucking lazy i drink most coffee black most of the 98 percent of the time gave a b a wrench he's gonna go crazy oh no right, go oh ahead. god no not that guy anybody that mentions another cigar well, can out. He kick us out <laughs> he's gonna kick us out so yeah so i like you just mentioned four ounces of coffee right you mentioned a four ounce it, drink right it's it's like two two and a half it's about a 50 50 uh sure. i think so when i have like a if i have a cigar it's a that swallow for him and that cigar is gonna last an hour I need like 10 Dan, ounces of Dan Bruce at craft. Yeah. And I will say that is the problem with those type of drinks is they're they're You, you, you got to like nurse them a little bit, right? Sure. Because it's, they're gone too quick and you're right. like, ah. and then you got to drink another one and you look up and you've had like six ounces of espresso yeah. and you feel like you're having a heart attack. Your fucking eyes are bulging. You have a heart on that won't go away for some strange reason that you can't figure yeah, out. Power lifted. That's the blue pill, dude. That's not <laughs> <laughs> that's the blue pill that's a different that's thing. The additive and tell you and you power lift and you're like you know what i have had a gram and a half of fucking caffeine today we're doing great <laughs> dude ab timed out taylor <laughs> 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 oh that's hilarious uh, holy AB, shit ab timed out taylor that's funny as shit taylor's like fuck you guys he's gonna be even worse when he comes back he's gonna be even worse. <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> You can time them out again. It's he, fine. It times them out. For, they, yeah, they can't comment. The times them out for like, what, 90 <laughs> 300 seconds. seconds. He said it's been taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, um, that's so yeah, funny. I don't, there's like, most of the time when I make, if I know I'm going to smoke a cigar with coffee, usually I'll make like 10 ounces of coffee. You yeah, I'll make I mean? a weaker. I will 100% make more coffee, just a little weaker. And just drink oh it. Oh my gosh! I like I like at that point just having a beverage to drink. We can't talk to Sean about coffee, Jeremy. Dude, you drink wildly too much caffeine, bro. Let's throw that out no, there. No, I don't, dude. I live my life the way I live it, and we're good, dude. Look me right here and tell me you don't, <laughs> dude. Listen, Jeremy, how many hey. coffees do you have a day? Hold on a second. This has got that grass note. Wait, which one? The fifteen year. Oh. I'm so happy you're on the fifteen. I didn't even grab it. It's got that grass note that the tin got. Kill it. Go grab it. It's got all I'm not getting up again. Sean so lazy. I've it's got me. up the last Ta five times. That if you don't taste grass. He switched accounts. <laughs> no, Wait, like fucking grass. Like, go outside and with the goddamn grass. <laughs> He's on, ah, whiskey, knife on whiskey knife fight. knife fight now. <laughs> Just waving. <laughs> What happened? Holy shit. Taylor switched to Whiskey Knife Fight's YouTube account so he can comment. <laughs> <laughs> that's like when uh, I got timed out and just switched uh, Taylor. Out as a mod. Uh, Can't fucking block my nail. That's so funny. <laughs> he fucking cracks me up, dude. Oh, God. Did you taste it? No. Oh, that's funny. Time this out. I love AB cigars, hey, Taylor uh, said. Jeremy, huh? where's your fucking knife at? Which one? The Hellraiser. The fuck's that at? Oh, it's coming, bro. I, I don't ah. have a date. He just sends me little like clips as he's moving along. I don't. We don't have an actual launch date, but um, I'll, I'll definitely make sure you get. We got a product that you want me to move. I want that. Really? I want that so hard. If you think Jeremy needs help moving, no, he doesn't. Doesn't 
Did I send you the email of the? But I say by move, I mean move from his distributor to my house. <laughs> <laughs> Did I show you the 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 yeah the picture of the engraving he's going to do on the brass scale? Yeah. So you sent oh. me the the brass scale and then the picture that it'll go on it. I was like, oh. fuck you. Oh, dude, it's, it's so. Cool. It's good. I'm pretty sure that was the text, but other than that, yeah. The one thing I will say about it is it's going to be. I feel like it might end up being a little fancy, right? Which Has he met himself. I'm not. Wait, fancy. what? It, wait, hold on. I have you seen the flying. man card? Yeah. Huh? What have you? What have you dropped that's not fancy? Can you? I see the bottom of that, gl that no, glass okay, right there. Okay, I get you. That's a good point. Very good point. But these are like fancy items that are like, you know. A knife, though, I usually buy workers, right? Like sure. most of the knives sure. I get, they're they're not particularly fancy knives. They're like, dude, they're we both yeah. flicked open our knife. Is that your uh, Benchmade? No, that's the uh, one I've been. Oh carrying. my god, that's a cleaver. That's a sheepdog. Sheepdog. Oh, I liked how that looks, dude. Oh yeah, I like how that looks a lot. <laughs> it must be nice to film that alone and have autofocus on. Oh, oh shit! That is a nice Tonto. That I, I mean, like the like, fucking looks of that. That's not Tonto, dude. Yeah, it's got no, that. It's not Tonto. It's sheep's foot. Sorry, oh, so sheep's foot. Drop point. Nope, it's not. Go ahead, Jeremy, the person who knows about knives. Go ahead. It's called a sheep's foot. That's it's, thank that, you. That's All right. Movie. What is it? Not a drop point. Sean's an idiot. No, it's called a sheep's foot because it's it's super short and stubby. I don't know all the technical. Uh, I'm sure somebody in chat, Taylor's in here. Uh, I'm sure he could. He uh, know it. That oh, is he gone again? The cleaver uh, of a fucking knife. Um. <laughs> a B says I'm, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Uh, where's A B? Well his other account should be about not timed out anymore. So A B says, I'm such a jerk. He's gone again. <laughs> Taylor, that was all A B. I didn't tell him to do it that time. Uh, that's funny though. Uh, uh, I'm carrying a bench made bug out. There. Taylor could probably tell you though. why, like what are the rules for something to be a sheep's foot? Um because he's more versed in knives. It's just me. a chunk of a blade. <laughs> I think it has something to do with it being very flat on the end. A tanto is usually pointier. This is very like. Look flat. at the fucking point on that thing. Yeah, it's I mean, it's cool. Dude, it looks so cool. Oh, dude, I love it. And you can I like see. The I, I okay. I will say I love the fact that there are so many patina, patina, patina. I love comments. the fact that Taylor just commented and goes, "I have so many accounts." <laughs> <laughs> this is barn door at this point in time. I could never time that guy out. Um, so uh, the the sheep you know what my favorite thing ever just happened sean guessed the blade type four times and every time jeremy said the name of the blade type and then sean would guess again i didn't know if that was like a style of it is what i'm saying i thought like the the drop point style no there's like there, across there's a sheep's foot there's a warren cliff there's a drop point there's a tonto there's a reverse tonto oh uh, the reverse tonto yeah what the fuck's that do that's kind of cool sounding um, it's kind of like a reverse Does counter. Tonto go up, huh? Down? No, wait. The Tonto goes up, so reverse Tonto would be oh, down. Um, oh, it's a big ass banana. I got him backwards now that I think about it. So like the that one There's a that tonto you got that little thing. Tontos go up now that I think about it. So reverse Tonto would go down. I can't hold knives up and have it focus because if we have that thing on autofocus, it's gonna hunt the whole yeah. time. Because there's two of us. Yeah, so the Tonto goes up and then, or sorry, like straight up and then curves back. Sure. I don't know. For some reason, back. they're so showing the bench made It'd be Osborne as a reverse Tonto. Is the Osborne a reverse Tonto? Reverse Tonto, is that like reverse cowgirl? That that would That's be like the, the, the sheep's cowgirl. foot. Yeah. Reverse Tonto would be like the sheep's foot. So you're you're backwards. The, the I, back of the blade. For some goes reason, down. when I, when I, when I, when I, um, when I search for reverse Tonto, a Benchmade Osborne comes up. You know what Osborne looks like, right? Nope. You think oh, I can okay. see that? Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. Um, I don't know if that's that's accurate or not, but anyway, there's a bunch of different blade shapes. That is called a sheep's foot. There's also a Warren Cliff, which to me looks a lot like a sheep's foot, which I always get I weird. like the shit of that that entire blade shape. That looked oh. great. Look who's in the house. Big idea. Chad is in the house. Big big Chad in the house. Oh yeah. Clip point. I don't know. Oh, dude, did you you guys didn't see the podcast? Peter stopped in on the podcast the other night. On the whiskey knife what fight? The fuck. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, 
You guys he, gain a million subs? Jeez, oh, Pete. He stopped in and he did a whiskey glass giveaway. He gave away one of his whiskey glasses. Really? And, yeah. It was My super gosh. cool. He just like stopped in at a, at random and he's like, you want to do a whiskey giveaway? We're like, fucking yeah, we'll do a whiskey Why glass not? Your friends got there. And <laughs> Chad was in there. Uh, so Chad uh, handled the details and gave away one of the Pete's Pirate Life whiskey glasses. It was pretty That's cool. That's super cool. Yeah. No, we did not gain because he just dropped in. There was no, you know, um, advertisement. Uh, although I'm sure he said he wanted to come on the podcast and I'm sure if he does, oh yeah, that, that'll, that'll help things out a little bit. Right? Probably have him on there. I mean, who knows who Peter McKinnon is? He's only man. like, you know, five minutes yeah, subs at this point in time. Lots of subs and everything. You oh, watch right. videos? Taylor said the uh, 940 is a reverse Tonto. So the, the man that broke 1 million subs, dude, 1 million, dude, he, he just broke, broke 5 million. He broke like the record dude, to he, like, um, the fastest channel to a million subs. I don't, he, he basically broke the algorithm. It seems like, or like literally could just be chicks with their tits out and like that's the only other way you get to a million subs faster no youtube don't, totally not put that in the algorithm you <laughs> well, think you just I, call I it mean, medical wap is in the fucking youtube library WAP so and did well too. yeah it did okay did well clear, weirdly yeah um <laughs> i did a reverse tanto one time in college <laughs> the dude there are some wild names for the blades you were just listing off <clears throat> Do I do I plan on or what? That's not the right one. Is it? Can I pull out one? On? <laughs> no, no. He said, "How can't you pull up a window on your stream?" <laughs> I, I, don't worry about it. Um, I will say that, like that, that sheep's foot in the like the uh the curved butcher of the Hellraiser. Like I like that style of blade. Like yeah. it's nice and meaty, chunky. Yeah. Ch that's what i like about that knife is it's just a th thick boy it's just yeah, thick, bitch. Thick. and honestly it, it's almost like a box cutter so like for okay let's be honest yeah. what do you use your your edc knife for more than anything like opening boxes and shit right cutting yep. food. Uh, well, Dan, cutting food. i'm pretty sure nice like hits knife. rocks with his what's that i'm pretty sure dan just cuts rocks with his because every time he gets a knife <laughs> and i'm like damn i'll shave with it they come fucking sharp within a week I'm pretty sure it can't cut paper. One of us uses our knives. Me. The other I one sharpen my knives. Stares at his knives. Sean. I sharpen mine. There's a difference. Nah. Taylor's, call Taylor's calling me a boomer. Weird. That's original. He's not done <laughs> that a hundred times in the last fucking week. <laughs> <laughs> That's original, he says. At least come up with a new one, Taylor. Jesus. The boomer one's getting old. Um, No pun intended. Huge fit. Oh, Okay, now see that was a dad joke. <laughs> I'm not helping my age thing out at all. Uh, I mean, I uh, listen, you uh, you could be a dad. I'm a dad, I'm only 28, you know. Here we are. Um, yeah. You get really out, Ian. Yeah. Ch if Chad's in here, uh, let's see if Chad Chad would uh, Chad's in here. We can probably do Let me see if we make sure we have some left. Yeah, I think I we do. Seen it. What? That. Speaking of his whiskey. So that whistle pick 15, I just wanted to mm. kind of. Uh, that's heavy. That's a $200 bottle of whiskey. Well, here's here's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Let me give it another go real quick. God. Speaking of it. Now that you know it's 200 bucks. Gal. No, I just want to I just want to be fair. Is Taylor is, or is, uh, is Chad still in here? Chad, if you're still in here, let me know. You're let me see if you're still in here. Because if Chad's still in here, yeah, we can maybe do a whiskey glass giveaway. If he's not, then we oh, can't. Oh, shit. Smells like... Uh, Chris Travis, I'm not actually 28. I just... I keep telling people I'm different ages so nobody actually knows. <laughs> 43. Chad said they're yours to give away. Uh, Chad's still... Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we can do a giveaway. We'll, do, we'll give away a whiskey glass. That works. Let me tell everybody about the packaging on that. It showed up, and I took it out of that box, I and then I pulled out that sexy stamped walnut box, and I was like, holy shit, this is insane packaging. Okay. I won't say this. So how we're going to do the giveaway is everybody go unsubscribe to Best Damn EDC, and then when you oh, come wow. back, you show me that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't do That's that. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm totally um, kidding. Um, how, can we, how can we do the giveaway? Real quick, I'll say, Jeremy, your packaging on your shit, nothing we've gotten from you. I was like, that didn't look fancy. 
Uh, no, dude, and and I have a. I'm I'm gonna give myself a little pat. I'm also gonna give Chad and them a huge pat for that. They because do great those guys are the shit. Okay, the devil is in the details, and those guys yeah. are very good at making sure. Yeah, everything yeah, looks. Um, I mean, it was a collaborative thing. Uh, a lot of the packaging, it was like the wax seal and stuff was stuff that right. I came up with. So we definitely concentrated on it. But I mean, Chad and them really come through with that shit, man. And they know it all the good. right people and they do all the quality control. I mean, dude, we get those walnut boxes. He sends like half of them back. He's like, nope, none of these are good because there's like a little chip or a ding or something. He's sure. like, send them back. Yeah, they're, they're very good at it. They're good at doing what they do. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say that. Obviously. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I've been real happy with everything, man. And that's yeah. been a big thing that a lot of people, when they've got the stuff they've been saying, is they're like, man, it's great, and the fucking packaging is next level. But, you yeah. know, I've talked to Peter about that before because, you know, Peter does a really good job with his packaging. Mm -hmm. And me, like, when you're selling higher-end stuff and you're asking, you know, a little bit more, being honest, it's a little bit more of a premium price for some of the stuff. Yeah, sure. You, you got to bring your A-game with the whole experience. Yeah. Right? Like, you can't just send that shit in a cardboard box. Right. Like, it's – Alec. I mean, if if you're selling it for a cheaper price, you can. But right, if, sure. if you're charging a premium, then it needs to be a premium experience. If you buy a fucking Omega or a Rolex or an Oris or any nice watch, they don't send it in a little fucking cardboard box like a right. Seiko. It comes right. with some heavy duty shit. No, you know, so sure. it's all for the experience, man. Yeah. Well, it's when you open it, something, you got digged it. Digged it. it like if you're gonna open a premium product that you want to be a premium product, then the opening of the product needs to also feel premium. Unboxings right. exist for a reason on yeah, YouTube. For sure. Like when, when you throw a premium product into that packaging, it automatically knocks it up when you're like, dude, look at this. You're like, right. boom, it's a whole experience. It makes you feel better about the fact that it, the, the cost of it. You're like, man, this, this is a whole thing, right? Yeah. It's not just the thing. You're like, fuck the box is nice. The packaging nice. All mm -hmm. the things are nice. Um, I, I I tasted it again and I gave it a second. I don't I don't like it. I so I sent the fifteen. Honestly, I figured that you'd be okay with the AB store pick. I figured you'd be okay with the Opperman store pick, and I figured you might you'd either like or hate the the twelve the red label the finished one because it's finished and people either like or hate finished whiskey, right? Yeah. Um, but the fifteen was the one that I knew if I sent because you hate the ten. The 15 being 200 bucks and not being incredible and, and it being a low proof, it's 92 proof. Yeah. I'm like, that'll be the one that he can't stand for sure. hundred percent. That, that walks the lines <laughs> of the reason you kind of hate the line. So yeah. Okay. Moto 83, they're cardboard, but this, there's differences in cardboard. Okay. Like the box of the Rolex and actually not all Rolex boxes are cardboard. I'm pretty sure I, the one I saw was like a shiny green fucking, it looked like it was wood. But there are different levels. I mean, like a plain old fucking cardboard. I oh, Jesus. There's different really between your normal cardboard. Like one of Pete's packages came in a cardboard box, but it was like, it felt like wood. It was such thick, nice stuff. There's still a difference in, in the box is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I this this almost reminds me of the 10. Yeah. Um, I, I, $200 for that bottle. It's just two hundred dollars that bottle, and I would have gone and thrown it at the clerk that sold it to me. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, That's so aggressive. I'll never not say the I people at Wissapig amazing into the fucking store and been like right. two hundred dollars for that is. See, this is the problem with this with this stream. Okay, <laughs> and we got to get back to the 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 giveaway because I don't back. Forget about that. But here's the problem with this stream. You guys had me going where I was happy with Whistle Pig again, and I was right. in a happy place. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I've been too harsh on Whistle Pig. Maybe I've been a little hard on him. Sure. Maybe I've been a bad guy. Right. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bad guy talking right. all this shit, calling it Whistle Piss and all this stuff. Then you tell me this shit's $200, and I'm back on the fuck them train. Like, it's. Nope. nope. You need to live in the world that the. 10 year store picks exist at a decent value for what you're getting. They're an okay. Value. Yeah. I don't um, know. If you, I don't know. I, I, don't I know. like them. Can I tell you what's wrong with the 10 year store picks? Even they should if be about $75. Honest. The Sagamore cast strength rye is 60 or 70 bucks. Yeah. And it's amazing. There's they they live in that. It. 
awkward world of whiskey. It's in a cool bottle. 80 to 100 is like a weird, weird place to exist. You need to either have a fantastic bottle or, I don't know, something amazing about it that makes it worth that premium. Because there are yeah. so many things that live at 80 or less that are great. So we've constantly talked about 80 to 100 is just a weird place to exist. Like there are rides that usually exist 100 plus that are worth 100 plus. Right. Or things that exist at 80 or less that are amazing. 80 right. to 100 seems like no man's land in whiskey. I don't, I can't think of anything that just stands out like, boom, I should buy a bottle of rye at 100 or 80 to 100 or yeah. a bourbon or a whiskey at 80 to 100. And I'm like, that's it. That's yeah. what you buy someone because it, it's no man's land. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know that, that definitely to me is not a $200 bottle. No, it's not. It is not. I agree. Now it does come my with this really cool heavy cork. My, fa my favorite was the 12 year finished. Uh, well, that's okay. actually a really enjoyable bottle. And you said that was 80, 90. No, that's like a hundred to 120. Yeah. 120. I mean, here's, here's the, the I, problem I that for Kentucky Al. And I like that just about as much as I like Kentucky Al. See, but the Blast problem with that red one is it's so easy to drink. It's crushable. But you can't you can't drink all of it because it costs too much. Yeah. <laughs> but it drinks like you should be able to drink all of it all the time. Yeah. That drinks like it should be $60 a bottle. Right. Because you can just fucking chug her. Right. Forty three percent. I think I'm gonna pour a little this is <laughs> Somebody said you can buy a taint fan for a hundred dollars. <laughs> Taylor said, "Word of advice: Don't sell whiskey to Jeremy." <laughs> True. I, I guess because I said I was going to like Malta cocktail. Look, just don't sell me bullshit that's two hundred dollars that tastes like grassy shit. <laughs> that's going to piss me off, and then I'm going to be real butt hurt about it. And I'm going to be well. I mean, I guess it's not the 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 store owner's fault that Whistle Pig's making a two hundred dollar bottle of trash. <laughs> I like. You know what I really like? Oh I gosh. like that we're going through your way of thinking about these out loud. And then your reasoning with yourself that now you shouldn't harm the clerk. <clears throat> it wasn't the clerk's fault. I also just figured it out. Um, Bell Biv DeBove said each day or barrel proof punches way above for the $90 MSRP. Sure. The problem is those bottles that exist agent a hundred are all like those bottles, BTAC shit like that. It's, it's stuff really. that never sits on the shelf for 80 to a hundred. Yeah. So maybe that's it. I, maybe I have a, a weird uh, mental connection to those price tags. That's like, I know these bottles should cost this much, right? But well, I see them for 150 yeah. plus. Well, you're yeah. not gonna find there's yeah. whiskey you don't find at retail now. That that could be it too. Yeah. So those on are always nose, on the nose. I like the 12 year finished more than this Kentucky Owl. What the hell did he just say out loud? Well, grab that red. All right, have a good night. Uh, what I'm out the of here. Hell, did you just say out loud? Wait, grab which that. you have Ko. One or two, I think one, right? There's one, he just showed it. Can you grab the red? Grab that stupid it, red label. It's right. So okay. at 43%, I don't know, it's 40, yeah, it's simpleton 43%. You're matching that up. The batch one was at 111. Okay. Here's what I'll say this is definitely go grab your Kentucky Owl batch one. That's what I'm drinking. Oh. Oh my! Put that right next hell? to the whistle pig. What in the world? Do you are have you more? Talking about do you have that? more of this one? I, the yeah. The put them next to each other finished. in a glass. The twelve year finished. Yeah. Yeah. Try them next to each other, and then try to tell me that that is better than the I, Kentucky I'm Owl. So I am so upset. I'm hurt. I'm like upset and confused at the same time. I'm <laughs> so hurt that you would think that is better the, than the Kentucky Owl. The first I time did. you said to me that Dickel was good, this is exactly how I felt. <laughs> this is just, I knew we didn't like him for a reason. Hey, real, real quick, uh, before I forget, how should we do the giveaway? How do you do? You guys ever do giveaways on lives? Because I don't know yeah. if Dad's going to well, stay in here. Ours are through super chats usually. Yeah. So everybody, because we can monitor, we can track who super chatted. So everybody uh -huh. who super chats gets entered into the giveaway. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to even do that. I don't think I don't even know if I have super chats on. I would assume yours are turned off. Because mm. I haven't seen. I don't know if my super chats are on or not. Yeah, he's, I can tell you. It's not. Well, I haven't seen one. Well, we can just. Is there? Oh, it looks like. Hold on. Hold on. They're, it looks like they're on. Oh, they're on. Are they on? I think so. Yeah, it's on. I can We're about to find out. 
<sighs> Hold on. I'll let you know here in like two minutes. Let me know in no. about three seconds. Okay, they're out. Oh, yeah, there it is. Bourbon Junkies, $5. Come on. Okay, so... You really didn't need to give me $5. Just to sh You could have done a dollar just to show I, that it worked. <laughs> it, it, dude, it started on five. That's where we left her. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so what we normally do is so anyone do that know, gives how away how $5. Do you, how do you know at the end of the chat? Uh, the, how do you know what the super chats are? So if you, you either have There's one a, of your mods, yeah. keep track of them, or the under the um viewer Analytic? activity yeah if you do you have youtube open right now uh yeah okay so under the under the viewer activity on the youtube page for the stream uh -huh. Wait, I, well, I was i was you, clicking around like it's our fucking what stream the hell? sean's over here sabotaging everything dude i'm clicking the fucking tabs like it's our stream looking for the analytic chat so i'm like oh, i got it. Activity, activity you can see all the super chats at the end sometimes we scroll up and down and then land on one yeah. So just write down all the super chats that come in, the names. Yeah, and then at, at a certain time, you can say the the giveaway is over, and then you pick one of the like a number, and that line is that person's name. Yep. You got that, babe? I forgot he's got Allison there. Yeah. Like he's we, got a helper. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have like somebody who's like there to help you. Yep. We have mods. So what you do is you give her a laptop, and you open up to your stream. And then look under the the it, there's like a tab it, analytics or whatever it's it is viewer no, viewer, activity. viewer activity yeah yeah and it will show oh, she's all gonna, she's writing them all down oh I mean Did that's so much more work that? it's so much more work for her though it's so as opposed to your laptop thank you, Sean. <laughs> Allison, thank you, Sean. do you want to go get your laptop don't Allison all right, it's fine just write it down I can't agree with just Sean write just write it down try just it. write it down it's fine I I don't know how many he's gonna get. That's true. That's There's true. not going to write down a hundred fucking names. Zach said write down because he's old as shit. <laughs> 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 uh, so uh, normally if we don't have someone keeping track of donations for a live stream, we'll just go through that, that list and just scroll up and down with our eyes closed and then just pick one. The other, thing, the other thing that we do is uh, for shipping sake, uh -huh. is uh, we only do five dollar super chats because we don't have care. to. We have to pay shipping, and what happens is everybody donates a dollar, like they're doing right now, to get entered into the giveaway. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we do five. We do like up. four ninety nine and five dollar minimums for okay. our giveaway entries. Yeah. Okay, you heard it, guys. That's the rules. Listen, not my stream, <laughs> not my rules. Just telling you what we do because shipping, shipping is five basically bucks. Yeah. It costs five bucks to ship stuff across the country for most of the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's true. So you. You get a free thing. You cover your own shipping. We call it good, basically. That's yep. a good point. Okay, so at this point, those are the rules. Everybody that donated before then will count you, but from now on, it's right it, now. That 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 sounds like a After good rule. Ken Martin, five bucks, four ninety nine. Sorry, Apple. Yeah, um, Apple defaults to four ninety nine. So it's a thing. Yeah, a lot of like that's the thing. We always were like, all right, five dollar minimum, and people are like, but it defaults to four ninety nine. We're like, we don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. We don't care. I'm not going to get mad about the penny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Adam McKnight's super chat might, I just kind of deserves to win something either way. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right, I'm Adam McKnight says, look Gandalf, just pick a name at random. Don't make your wife take down names. Well, oh my gosh. Dude. Is I can't go all the way back through the super chats because they go away after a while. At least. Yeah. I think they, so uh, they, stay, they stay in the viewer activity, but they don't have numbers or anything. So it, there's like there the reason we don't do it that way most of the time is because there could be bias. If anybody's ever thought there was bias, there could be if you're scrolling through viewer activity. Right. So, so if you just write them down and then at random, I say a number. Right. We have no yeah. idea who it is because she's just exactly. writing them names. So Allison's over here writing them down. She's got a pencil and a pad and she's getting after it. Um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll let that run for a little while and then we'll, we'll give away one of, one of these sexy ass bitches right now. Listen, they're drastically heavier than I thought they were going to be. Dude, it, when I say people are giving me shit, they're like, yeah, they're hand blown. When I say they're hand blown by a dude, like they can't, that's why when I see some of these glasses and people call them hand blown and they're sure. crazy thin, I'm like, I don't. I feel like that's bullshit because sure. a dude can't stretch that glass by hand that much, right? 
Um, oh shit! Hey, Stephen Holtzclaw. I didn't recognize the name. Shit. He's a baller. He's Dude, awesome. He just came hard to the He's fucking awesome. paint. Stephen, him a video by the way. <sighs> Stephen Holtzclaw. He's the man. Came in with a fifty dollar super chat. He's one of our big boy patrons, dude. He's an awesome yeah, guy. He, he fucking dropping fifties. He sure in the hell is, Steve. <laughs> dude, the oh my god, I just dropped like it like it's hot, son. Here, yeah, I'll take that. There you go. I'm you are the fucking worst at this game of life, dude. <laughs> I had it by like a thread. Look, look, look like, what he's done yeah. with the fucking. Look what he's done. Look what's happening <laughs> again. Look, uh, now look, the Gandalf look, thing's gonna look, stick. Look Gandalf's coming in. You're gonna have to get a staff for some of your videos, dude. Jeremy, by the way, do you save your um, tags? My or cigar yeah. bands? I'm sorry. For sure. I said tags, I have, and like, it was like what the fuck freezer is bags full. Um, because I was thinking I want to add them to my cigar bible. You just tape them in there. Yeah, tape them in there, so I know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. Oh, I I'm gonna fix that I problem. Put, like good ones, oh, like, I really like, and then I that I wrote notes on. I don't yeah. always feel like writing notes on a cigar, right? So if I just sure. it, I don't put it in the Bible. Uh, I'll save the band, and I have like I said, Ziploc freezer bags full of cigar bands. I'm um, so much more in the the thought of liking keeping the band because we yeah, talked tonight about literally smoking one of these tonight with a different band he was like well i need to go find it it would have been great to be like well there's the band for it yeah where'd it go where'd it go <laughs> so um this <laughs> wow dude somebody else hand blown by a dude somebody else uh, <laughs> i've never been hand blown by a dude <laughs> oh that poor guy oh my god that i wish the davilars were in here to keep that into the the quote Bible, mm -hmm. hand blown by a dude. <laughs> this might be a five dollar glass. Whatsoever wins is about the most profitable glass Jeremy sells. <laughs> That's very true. That is very very true. Um. So somebody did ask what the the, the <laughs> what the hell? Take my money. Thank you, Randall. I appreciate it, buddy. We'll it's make his sure birthday, you and he sends you a text. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday, bitches. Birthday. How old are you? Are you as old as me? Are you in your 40s where everybody can make fun of you and call you Gandalf? 40s? <laughs> Gandalf. Yeah, you're easily like 50. What are we dropping 10 off our age now? Yeah, you're like 20. Yeah, <laughs> remember? What did you, uh, hey, what'd you pick? Whistlepig or Owl? Oh, I haven't. I, we got caught up on the um, oh, okay. Okay. on the contest. And then I, um, Chad, you're still in here, right? Because <laughs> he's the one that. Uh, I'm not done with this thing. Yeah, I can, all, I can always send him the name. Right over there. But oh, it's easier if Chad's yeah. in here because if Chad's in here, then they can he, he has they just they can email him directly. <clears throat> I think you said to uh, tell people that uh, super chats exist. They figured yeah. it out. Just gotta see a green thing in chat, dude. Benjamin the plumber. That peerless barrel strength fits in the eighty to hundred, dude. Peerless with a cigar. That barrel strength. If you're into cigars, peerless with the cigar is where it's at. I swear to God. That, dude, um, that peerless bourbon, not the peerless rye, right? Peerless bourbon with a cigar, that, dude. There's something about it; Ooh. just fits. It really Alec does. showed up late. He's asking, "We sm we're smoking." What are you talking? He didn't. Alec, show he said, He's "What are y'all smoking?" Thirty tonight? minutes. Yeah, but he won't hear oh, what we talk true. about. Okay. Uh, Sorry, we have the uh, the Look, red label Labarba. Just a nice fella. Just a nice guy. Thanks for the great content throughout the years. Cheer. See, not Gandalf, not old, not fuck you, boomer. None of this shit. Just fucking a nice thing see thank you robert for that huge and generous super chat and for being a nice guy not a dickhead like the rest of these guys <laughs> the, one said, the big 43 uh that's funny that's a very generous super chat though for 450 bucks thank you sir um <laughs> the big 43 who's the big 43 Randall, the it's his birthday he said he ten another He's, tenor on his birthday and i think i'm pretty sure his uh He's drinking in his little. You realize you can see it right there. Oh, All no, right. he's smoking. That's Sounds what it a boomer is. Too. Well, I'm looking up at our fucking screen. Me and Randall are almost the same age. I'm 42. I'll be four. Am I 42 or 43? Uh, Jesus. When you get so old, you just forget what age you are. Too. I'm Bro, 40. I can't. I'm 42. He looked at me. I said, How old am I? Is it what? He goes, Am I 42, 43? What am I? She's like, You are 71. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely. I keep not. telling you. <laughs> I will be 43 in May. I'm 42. 
So thank Dude, you. The true holy shit, Taylor. Taylor. Happy birthday, Randall. Me and you are we're in there together, buddy. We got to get those prostate exams soon. I think Taylor gave you away, uh, a giveaway, a little, little entry there. Yeah, Taylor doesn't get entered. If, I was just gonna say, if Taylor wins this class, I'm gonna shit myself. I'm gonna be honest. No, I'm gonna Please click it. I'm gonna send Taylor one, so I, I can't, um, I can't take that away from somebody else. Although I do appreciate the uh, super chat, Taylor. <laughs> Even though you're an asshole and you called me a boomer. In Craig said, 43, damn close to twice my age. No way. He's a good guy. No way. I I always pronounce his name wrong. Who? Uh, Aiden Craig. I've made a point to uh, pronounce the name right. How are you supposed to say it? Aiden. Well, how were you saying that? I don't remember. Aiden. I I was always throwing some funk on it. Mm. Every time he donated, he was like, he donated was like, please just get my name right once. I was like, <laughs> all right. Okay, Johnny Boy said that you sound excited for your exam, and I thought you were kind of pitching like a twofer. You know what I mean? Like a two for one. Like two prostate exams for the price of one. You guys go together type thing. No, I was going to say we could buddy check each other. Oh, you know what? <laughs> there you go. There you go. You know, that's even cheaper, honestly. You know what you're looking for? <laughs> nope. Sure hey, no. I know I'll you do. It I'll figure it out while we're there. <laughs> you call him Adrian? Yeah, oh, that's what I was God. saying. Every time it was like, Adrian. Uh, he was like, please get my name right once. Brian, thanks for the super chat. Turning 30 next week. Man, that's that's the glory years, 30. God. Already got old Carter Batch 5 as my first splurge bottle. Any recommendations on the next cheers? Damn. It's so good. That is a fantastic so first splurge bottle. It's so good. Um, I don't have a bottle of that, so I don't know. Is it, um, is it good? I, all the old Carters basically are just fantastic. Yeah. That's what it comes sure. down to, honestly. They do a really good job blending their single barrels. They know ridiculous. what they're doing when yeah. they're throwing whiskey together. Yeah. So, any recommendations on his next splurge? I'd I mean, say if, if, you, cars, if you can find a bottle of that Joseph, Joseph Magnus cigar. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Jesus. Dude, um, it's so good. It's pro- like I said, it was one of my favorite bottles when the, with the question. I feel earlier. like that's one of the most widely distributed like splurge bottles really right good now. Ones, yeah. yeah. Joseph Magnus? Yeah. The, really? the cigar blend. Yeah. Wow. Because, you know, until. Probably, and I mean, I found a couple bottles of it. I, didn't I send you guys a bottle of it? Yes. I mean, you guys paid no. for it. But I, I picked yeah. up a bottle for no, you. No, I don't think you did. You should send us another one. <laughs> um, but I didn't see it forever here, and then um, it popped up, and I was like, "Oh shit! Oh, what's this? Turn, turning fifty-one in an hour? Oh my gosh! Come on, what's your come Happy on? Happy birthday see? to you. Um, Happy birthday. To you. <laughs> Um, we just end the stream saying everybody leaves at the same time. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, this is going to sound like a cop out, but I'm going to call it a tie. That's a cop out. Yeah, let me yeah. check it. Here's well, the hold on. It's no, you know what? That's not a cop out. You're wrong. That's where I'm we're at. For different reasons. Okay, this is the, the I'll say this. You don't know the Kentucky. Owl, that man. The Kentucky Owl definitely has. It's a more interesting pour. It has more complexity. It's definitely fuller flavored. It's stronger yeah. proof. Sure. All those things. Better. But this is super sweet and just easy to drink. Crushable. So it Jesus depends Christ. on what I'm in the mood for. If I'm just in the mood to sit back and just have something sweet and nice that I'm not going to pay attention to, which is really right. pleasant, this is my dude. If I want something interesting that's going to kick me in the teeth just a little bit, this one. So you still say it's a cop out or is that fair? No, that's not Still fair. Cop out. No, it's not fair. It's dumb <laughs> shit. <laughs> no. Because one of those whiskeys is better than the other whiskey. Wildly better. Right? Now, I, I, I get what you're saying, the occasion thing, because listen, I, I'm with you on that. Like, I'll cop out on that every day of the week. I'd love... No, no, no. No. Bullshit. Never, I... ever cop out. Okay. Listen, because I would That's drink Old Forester 86 proof more often than I would drink Kentucky Owl Batch 1. Mm-hmm. Ever, like, often. Mm-hmm. I drink it more often. True, but the I, the whiskey eighty six proof old forger isn't better. You remember earlier when we were like name your best whiskey, and you're like, you know, it's mood dependent on what we can do, and like your availability that. and bullshit I didn't like that. Say that. Yeah, I think you live in La La Land. I didn't say those words. It's cop out. If somebody in chat 
thinks I said can can confirm or deny that I said those things. I, <laughs> I'm actually kind of interested at this point. <laughs> While we're waiting for that, uh, no, no, no. Hey, we, we talked uh, about earlier is like our best like uh, of whiskey. But he's A and B in. Yeah. And a- then you were you we said mood dependent on a couple. You said mood dependent for sure. Yeah, you did. It the thing is you a different. million percent did. Do you wink the camera? Let Jeremy times? talk. I want to hear what he Yeah, has. exactly. It's a very different experience completely. True. Somebody kick Alec out of chat. Jeremy's the only one that can do it. He's a mod. <laughs> Why will we kick him out? Uh, Dan said that. He Perfect. said I Thank said you. that, which is not true. Yeah, you no. definitely said mood dependent. Oh, I did. Um, yeah, before we go, because off, I said it was a cop out to not name just one. Shut up for a minute. Not name I want to listen to Jeremy talk because this guy's his name right. Jay Gunner, thank you for the super chat. Good whiskey between 50 and 60 dollars. I'm gonna say is 1920 in that price range. Yeah, yes, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is 60 dollars. Go fuck Sometimes. yourself. Yeah, Sometimes. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is not 60 dollars here. See, yeah, Junior 62. So uh <laughs> we've bought several at sixty each. That's fair. Right. We've also I I mean, we've also right. paid more. Yes, ninety or hundo here. Yep, yeah. we have paid more. That's we've right. also paid sixty dollars okay. for them in the safe fifty to sixty range. I'd say nineteen twenty. The EC toasted uh, barrel bourbon. Yeah, Elijah Craig toasted bourbon is really good. I think it's at fifty or fifty five or something. You know, I still haven't seen a bottle of that shit yet. Red so, Red. I don't. Well, yep. I have not seen more than the one we have. Yeah. Like, I haven't re-seen it. It's the only we have. I went looking the for The store we, we shop at literally got a couple. We got one of them. They have not got restocked. But I would say Rare Breed, I always safe bet. It'd be everywhere. Rare, rare, breed. Breed, rare Breed would be a solid shit. Hey, like $48. Like that, it's 60, that easy ECBP 60 down there. I've never seen it. for. I mean, we're in the same state. And I've never right. seen it for sixty where I'm at, so I, I don't know. Maybe he's got a honey hole that that prices stuff a little better than what I'm saying. Oh, you're so upset by this. Okay, you? I need to clarify. You are something. so fucking upset by this. Tweedle right dumb over here keep fucking talking about it. So <laughs> listen, he did say that you said it, Dan. I don't know. I, I know, don't, and I don't know who the fuck. I don't know how drunk Chad is right now. <laughs> <laughs> listen, so I said. Go ahead. I wouldn't drink uh-huh. King Kentucky all the time based on my mood. I did say that. I didn't say the words mood dependent. I'd like that to be on record. But <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we it's a thing. can we wind the tape back, please? Can yeah. we play it back? Roll back. Roll back. Cut the film. Oh, my gosh. Cut the film. 1915. S13 Danny. Thank you for your super chat. Said this is the way. This is the way. I agree. <laughs> there you go. We can't talk about it, though, because. Uh, I'm not caught up. Sorry. He's not caught up. But I hope, hopefully you've seen it. And you're Wait, excited about it. Is it a Friday? Yeah. It just went on tonight. No, it was see? no, it was been on all day, man. Come on, get get real. Came on at like three o'clock in the morning. There were people that watched it at three o'clock in the morning and already had fucking videos up at like six this morning on reviews okay. of it. We watched them at night. I'm I really thought they came out at night. No, I watched it this morning as soon as I woke up in bed. <laughs> What's it what's it, what is it on? That's Disney how much of a dork I am. That's how much of, I woke up this morning. It was like, I got a lot of shit to do today, but before I get out of bed, I'm watching the Mandalorian and I laid there with my phone and I watched get it. it. It's a great show. Dude, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Wait, yeah. I kind of like, they drop it like at midnight or something. Yeah. They drop it like three Netflix in the morning. Style. I kind of like that. They Wait, drop it like three in the morning. Mandalorian is? Yes. A lot Who of the guys that? have YouTube channels that do reviews on Star Wars stuff and yeah. stuff like that. They'll stay up and watch that shit at like three in the morning. And by like six or seven in the morning, they've already got up there like, you know, Easter egg videos and, and sure. like view videos and all that stuff. Fucking anime. I mean, you want to be the first one, right? At that point, it's the Viper. It's it's the guy that wears the fucking mask, the stormtrooper looking yeah. mask from. He's Star the Viper. Wars. Benjamin the uh, plumber. Yeah. So uh, from Game of Thrones, he's the Viper. Oh, that's the actor. Yeah. Okay. He's he's not. A, he was not good in Game of Thrones. Well, he died. Yeah. He got his head crushed. Spoiler alert. How long do you guys usually run the giveaways? We so here's <laughs> we pick a time. Dan picks it. We kick. We kick. Every, at, how it works is time when is we it. start the stream, every super chat goes till we end it. Usually it's around eleven, so usually it's two hours. What time is it right now? Eleven. It's been two hours. Pick it at eleven thirty then. Jeez, okay. eleven thirty. He started late. Chat's trying to go to bed. I think. 
he Chad's started like, what late. the hell yeah. are you guys over here doing <laughs> are you trying to go to bed chad you, you got minutes. Can you hang out for 30 minutes? We'll end it at 11. Okay. Is it, that cool? It, it was probably yeah. only 10 when he was like, how do I do this thing? Oh, uh, it was, it was like 1040. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it has not been live very long. We usually announce that we're going to do a giveaway of whatever, uh, at the beginning and then we'll do it. We'll pick it random time. It's normally 11, 1130, whatever. Cause we'll forget a lot. Um, wait, wait, that, wait. But the, um, how long was when Peter jumped in real quick? What did, how'd that work for you? Uh, we just did like a random number. Cause sure. it was like, it, 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 we were honestly kind of caught off guard by it. Cause sure. we weren't expecting it. And he's like, Hey, yeah. you want to give away a whiskey glass? And we're like, Pedro Pascal, oh, sure. <laughs> so, um, we just picked a random number and Taylor wrote it on a piece of paper. And then we said, just start saying numbers in the chat. And the first one we see to get the number, sure. is, you know, and that's how we did it. But this way is better. Dude, I like that. This way, yeah. If you're doing one, that's great. Pick a number. Like, yeah, have chat right, pick a number. Times, yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or just whoever hits that number first. If you're doing one, Oof. well, that's this, wild. Way you keep, this way you can keep track and you can do it throughout yes. like a whole stream instead of yeah. yes. just like real quick who can slam it in there. Um, so I like it. Um, yeah, Dude, so that's we'll, wild if you do one we'll, giveaway. We'll do whoever's in chat. I, Chad didn't ever say if. Um, what do you say? Let's see what Taylor's smart ass shit he said. <laughs> Forty two <laughs> is the way, Alec. Actually, that wasn't smart ass. Uh, he he said he's got Rocket League, which, by the way, that makes <laughs> Taylor a bigger dork than me. Dude, okay. So I saw earlier people were like, "Yo, you on Rocket League tonight?" All that to you. So I, not I, yet. Not yet. Not yet. He's not he's here. I ca I can't do it. He's trying to be. It. I've never played Rocket League, but. It looks like it's a fun game. It's one of those ones. It's like you're either there or you're not. Really? Yeah. Like you got to be. If you're oh, yeah. not good, you're shit. Oh, yeah. Thing. Okay. Like learning curve ain't great. <laughs> you're either good or yeah, bad. I, I would imagine if you started when everybody else started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'd be fine. <laughs> Brian David, because I was cheap ass the first time. <laughs> I, I saw that. <laughs> Brian, I appreciate the honesty. You would have still been in because I said anybody that did it before then, I couldn't proactively tell people to go fuck themselves. That would have been rude. Oh, yeah. but I appreciate the uh, the extra donation, my friend. <laughs> uh, Taylor said, Rocket League is a hard ASF. Yeah. When Taylor explained it to me, I was like, okay. that's You play soccer with RC cars. It's RC cars playing soccer. Yeah. Yep. Like, Why? It like seems why? easy. Why? No, no, but I mean, I don't. Easy or hard? Just why? Just, just why? Dude, hold on. But that's the best thing. That's the best <laughs> thing ever because the whole point of video games, right, is when? that they don't have to be real. Oh. Well, listen. If I can go do it in real life, I I don't always need to do it in a video game. How's Warzone? Can't do that in real life. Well, you can. No, no one can. No, we we can cheat you. Not like that. We'll get you in. No, there. not like that. We'll we'll drop you. What I'm saying is hot it's drop. Funny. It's like it's funny. <laughs> I was listening to something the other day. This is this is interesting actually because I don't know how Jeremy 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 feels do you about play this. any games? Hot take. Jeremy, that you know my buddy AJ. That's my buddy AJ. I have a Fernandez, long yeah. long time friend. I've been friends with for years and years. That's exactly how he pronounces my name, Jeremy. Jeremy, wrong. Perfect. <laughs> Matt do you G play any video games? Thank you, sir. Matt G for the five dollars. We mute. What's happening? Uh huh. Uh, I'll have him DM Chad. I'll have him DM you um, because that way I don't want them to say their personal info in the chat or whatever. So if they DM you, that's all, you know, behind the scenes and nobody sees their info. And then that way you can get it directly. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to have them just DM. What, what DM do you want them to send it to? Big ideas DM Chad, I'm assuming big idea design. I think that's the only one. So yeah, I'll just have him DM big idea design. Um, yeah, he might get a lot of DMs saying a lot of people won just a heads up. Yeah, you're gonna want an actual I'll winner. Let him know who the actual winner oh, is. Okay. I'll, I'll right. text Chad and tell him the actual person's name. So any of you scandalous fucks that think you could just DM him and say that, he's gonna have the name. Scandalous fucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so your question was, do do I um you play any video games. Next, we play drones playing golf. Exactly. Stupid. It doesn't make it. Thank you, Kevin. That's T fair. T-Bear. Is it T-Bear or T-Bear? 
Tebow. Tebow. Kevin Tebow. Tebow. To to bear, it's all in where you put the emphasis. To bear, um, I do not. The 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 quick answer, and you guys know I'm not good with with quick hand eye coordination. Yeah, um, I used to. Obviously, I grew up playing Nintendo and stuff like Super Mario Brothers, all that shit. Sorry, uh, I did, dude. I remember Pong. Holy. Shit. I mean, I was, I was live when Pong was came out. I had ColecoVision. <laughs> um, yes, I was live when the first video game came out, and I played it. I was old enough to play it and remember playing it. Um, so, I mean, I grew up playing video games, but there came a point in my life where I was just like, fuck video games. Like, it became toxic. We talked about this on the podcast not too long ago. Like, I, it went into where it was like online gaming and I played a lot of Call of Duty because I just thought that was fun. I like the shooter, you know, first person shooters, I think is what the kids yep. call them these days. And, um, but it got toxic, man. Like there's just people in there just talking shit constantly and everybody fights and it, it just got to where it wasn't enjoyable anymore. Because it was you wreck them. them. You know, it's just, it was just bullshit. Dude. So um, no, I do not currently play any. I have not probably touched a controller in probably five years, ten years. The so how this is something I don't think we've ever talked about. How do you feel about Twitch? Like people watching people play ooh, video games. I like it. Um, that people that make a fuck ton of money sitting there broadcasting, <laughs> playing video games. Hold on, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> if you want and don't have an IG snail mail, Jeremy, a letter with your address, <laughs> Chad, I feel like that was a smart ass remark. Um, <laughs> are you saying I'm old Chad, that I want people to pony express me shit. Is that what we're saying right here? Um, no, if, if they don't, um, they can, they can email me at my uh, email that I have on YouTube, but most everybody has Instagram. Now, who the fuck doesn't have Instagram? I do. Oh yeah, I don't. Yeah. But yeah. I forgot that you tagged me in the other day. Yeah. 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 The winner does still need to be in the chat. Uh because I haven't posted in like have you guys have problems with that? People like donate and then leave before the fucking giveaway and then they're not in here. Yep. Okay. So also what I'll say is we put it on the winner. You email us. Right. We, of we, course. We don't go through and find it like we don't have a way to, buddy. Yeah, we still have a a couple giveaway things around here that people have never claimed. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Um, well, that's well, what we're going to well, do. Like, hey. well, here's the problem. You don't, we don't have a way to get everybody in chat to yeah. email address. That's not so possible. We, we can't get a hold of you. You have to get a hold of us, whatever you win. Mm -hmm. So there, there are multiple times that people are like, all right, you want this, you want like this sample or this item. Um, let us know emails here. No one reclaims it. No one. I mean, we've, this one has been almost three weeks now. Yeah. It was just, like, all right, yeah, cool. Some people that won't uh, respond or email you. Eventually, we just, we'll do a roundup. We'll give it away again. Um, Jay Hertz. Your donation. Sorry you didn't claim it. Another nice fella, Jay Hertz. Thanks for the content from a fellow Gandalf. Cheers. Thank you, Jay Hertz. <laughs> And see another nice guy that just Gandalf. says he did call me Gandalf, but he said he was a fellow Gandalf. So it's okay if you're a fellow Gandalf. He's calling himself Gandalf too, so it's That's like an inclusion. Saying, it's still yeah. nice. Unlike unlike douchebags, like hold on, where was it? I saw Daniel another, Shook. I saw another. Oh. I, I saw another Taylor comment somewhere, but I, I lost it. I lost it. He was he was being an asshole, saying something about me getting teabagged by a twelve year old. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. Too. Wait, <laughs> that's not the one. Or are any of these people your Patreon? Like, uh, you got you got that? You still doing the the Patreon stuff? Like, maybe they can get a hold of you there if they're Patreon. Uh, yeah, but the, some of them they're definitely Patreons, but I, I don't know if they all will be. So that's email, fair. They just email you. We yeah. just have them email us. It's yeah. simple. Everybody's got an email address. Period. Like that's not a thing people don't have. So also fair. It's true. It's true. It's if you're true. on social, you still got an email address. So it's true. It's true. Yeah, you have to. Or else you don't have a Anything account here. Yeah. How do I feel about streaming? Was the question you'd ask. Yeah, how do you like that? Twitch? Yeah. Uh, I think it's pretty stupid. You think it's stupid? Yeah. Go okay. Ahead. I mean, here's the thing. I, I'm not downing other people that enjoy it. If that's sure. what you enjoy, every everybody enjoys their own shit, right? Like, right. Like I, somebody booted Taylor again. That's fucking fantastic. Jesus Christ. 
Um, I just don't, I don't play video games. So right. there in and of itself, that's a problem. Sure. And, you think it's any, any different than us sitting here drinking whiskey, smoking cigars? Well, but to me, it's like you can sit and smoke a cigar and watch some guys smoke a, a cigar and drink whiskey and everybody's just chatting and whatnot. They're not playing video games and watching somebody play a video game, are they? Are they all playing together? Is that no, what usually, mm -hmm. no, no, most people are watching. Most people For are entertainment. watching. Yeah, it's entertainment. You're just watching a guy playing a video game and chatting with him. Or not it? chatting. Or just lurking, even. I'm a lurker. Here's the thing, though. Wait, hold on. Do you want? Do you watch sports or no? No. Nope. Oh, okay. No. Nope. Used to. Okay. I got irritated with those guys too because they're a bunch of whiny bitches. That yeah. Now I remember. Wait, that. hold I remember up. This conversation. What now. is your overhead ventilation? My overhead? Yeah. Uh oh, you're seeing smoke move? Yeah, I just watched that fucking explode. That's a fan. I've got a ceiling fan. Jesus Christ. I've got you hit I've got that the same kind of situation you do where I've got a, a inline fan, exhaust fan that's pulling okay. air out. So it's the same situation you have. Um this is better. But I also have a ceiling fan. fan. I have a yeah. ceiling fan to move it around. Oh. So it kind of just helps break it up and, and keep it moving. So it's not just lurking sorry i pulled away from that uh because i watched you exhale and then smoke just evaporated out of your stream like that <sighs> so Gone. so i the reason i asked if you watch sports is because a lot of people a lot of people that feel the way that you feel about twitch all do watch sports right right so the reason that i asked if you watch sports is because a lot of the people saying what you said and watching sports it's like listen the big argument is, well, you can just go play the video game, right? Or whatever it is. Right. Whatever game you're watching, you most likely can afford to play, probably. Right. And so the thing is, is for me, it's like, but I can't, like, let's pretend I'm watching a video game, whatever. Let's pretend I'm watching Rocket League, right? Real okay. quick. I need someone to boot Aiden Craig from the uh, watch room here. Talk about the lines, lines losing. Are fucking horrendous. It doesn't matter. For so, no reason other than the fact that, God damn, our fucking team sucks. For 32 years. <laughs> um, but people do um, like I can't go play professional football, but I can go play like flag football in the yard with Sean and buddies, right? Can I say real quick? Let me derail you just for a hot second. Do I it. played do football, life. organized football, tackle football from the time right. I was probably I don't know nine, eight, nine, ten years old up through yeah. high school. Never got injured super bad, right? Playing flag football, mm -hmm. I knocked half a tooth out. <laughs> like I bl blew off like half of one of my teeth. It, I mean, I didn't, I guess you can't say knocked it out, but it like chipped yep. or br it broke the tooth like in half almost. Right. Ugh. And you I'm like, how somebody? Fuck, all these years of like getting tackled by like guys that are trying to kill me, have I never had any serious injuries? I play flag football and I break a damn tooth. Right. <laughs> Ken Dude. Martin. Thank you, my friend. Hey, fancy. That's how it works, though. I th I don't know if it's because you're not wearing helmet and pads, and then people still run into each other. I don't know if that's and, what the and problem is. What the fuck is. do the guys that play rugby have going on? That that oh dude, those guys are Vikings. <laughs> those uh, guys. But you know what's funny is they say those guys have less like head injuries than the football guys do. Yeah, they're more the rugby. Some, yeah, there's some. Yeah, they hit. More they hit like they they take you out through the knees. Well, yeah, because you got to think about it. If you got a helmet on, yeah, you're not worried Impact. about it. You're, you're going right. in full fucking speed. If you right. got dude, a helmet I watched on, the highlight you're reel. Smack oh. your noggin against some other dudes, right? So you're going to be a little yeah. more careful. Um, I watched some fucking highlight reel of a like play, play in type league of <laughs> padless, <laughs> like everything is fucking raw tackle football league, mm -hmm. and they're like doing a highlight reel of fucking tackles and shit. I was like, why would you do this? <laughs> like, Dude. they literally put pads and helmets on people to prevent what you're doing to people. That's fair. <laughs> what? Like, is people just getting truck sticked? And they're not wearing shit. Like, Blew off half a that person is dying. A dude. They cart them off in a fucking like gurney at that point also in time. Not professional. It was like, right? like that's oh, dude, like, it's still big people. No, no, no. I'm saying they're not. Oh, professional. it's not. Like, yeah, yeah. Rugby is professional. Yeah. Like, they train to hit a certain way. Yep. They train it's to still, not get yeah. hurt and stuff like that. It, it was still like 
pretty high level people doing it. No, no, no. Oh, idiots. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I appreciate Uh, you. Dude, yeah, J.J. Watt didn't fucking tackle someone and they didn't walk off, you know, oh type God. of deal. But you, oh my he's gosh. a baller. Now, Are you guys not smoking cigars anymore? I just Dude, mine's, no, I mine's am. gone. Mine, well, was, mine was getting hot, so I stopped. Mm, that's a question I want to ask you guys. Yeah. Here, wait, here's Dan. Here's mine. Mine was hot because I smoked mine within not seven hours. So I've been smoking that cigar for two hours. I've really mine twice. You know, <laughs> Still Taylor, was, Taylor was saying that he was smoking cigars all wrong. Like he was saying that he was smoking them way too fast and they were getting way too hot. And he was okay. all the cigars had kind of a funky taste and they were doing weird stuff and he wasn't enjoying them. You he had the cone. He found that if he slowed down a little bit and didn't pull so hard on them that he was, you know, they were staying lit better. He was enjoying them more and, and all this. And I was like, yeah, if you overheat the cherry, that's a real thing. I don't know if a lot of people that smoke cigars. So know that. if you're, if you're smoking them and you no, got heard this is fake news. You, you got a cone. Up. I heard that's really, fake news. I heard it's fake news. Okay. So I'll, I'll go ahead with my explanation. You go ahead with fake news. Well, um, I'll tell you what, I would say if you're, you're pulling and you're ashing it into cone, you're going uh-huh. too hard. Wait until it's a nice even draw all the way through. If you're ashing it and it is a cone, you're you're pulling too hard. You're smoking too fast. I heard that's not real. Well, I heard that has to do with how it's uh, ruled. Oh. I'll say this: I don't know if the cone thing or whatnot. And if Alec is still in here, Alec is in here. He just said something. Um, if Alec is still in here, he could probably clarify if that's the case. Definitely. He, if, he, if anybody is the cigar expert in the room, it's for sure him. Um, I don't know that that the shape of the ash, it makes sense that that would be true, but I don't know that it is. But I do know that if you smoke a cigar too hot, it will go bitter on you. If you draw too fast and too often and it gets super hot, you lose, it gets a little funky. Like the flavors aren't as good. Yeah, Alex said if you smoke it too fast, it chars. Yeah. Why don't I see his comment yet? So, okay, Alec, tell me if it's real or not. Do you get a weird shaped burn, aka cone? If well, your cone's not a weird burn, though. It is. No, no, no. It's a weird because burn. you don't know until you ash the cone's yeah. happening. Right? Yeah. That's the thing. It might be burning fine all the way around. Yeah. But when you Yeah, ash, you can see an, uh, an even burn around the entire outside mm-hmm. uh, on, on the wrapper. But if you're ashing it, and, or if it right. ashes and you see a cone, like, is that indicative of you dr- like smoking, smoking too fast? fast? Al- like, uh, wait, wait. Jeremy, what was your question? My que- Well, does, we started off with... First off, we, we got off tangent, right? Imagine that. But nine times uh, the original thing was, but we wanted to side note that it is important for anybody that's in here to know that if you smoke cigars too fast, they do taste like shit and you sure. should slow down and enjoy it. But my original question was how far some people do not like smoking cigars once they get to a certain point down because they feel okay. like they get too hot and they get bitter. Are you the kind of person that really smokes your cigar like me? Like I've sent you pictures where right, it's a, a nub yeah. yeah it's just like i've got to put a nubber on it because it's burning my fingers or do you normally i know a lot of guys that like they would stop here like they're like nap i'm done that's it where do you go when you smoke a cigar do you smoke that I, bit stopped, the- I literally just stop smoking it when it gets hot no matter where it's at hmm. i'll burn it down but usually sean <laughs> Sean's like, like, I'm so many half smoke cigars from sean Klein? okay what you so literally last year tuesday yeah. Yeah, oh, our okay. cigar. Yeah, that was my second cigar. That's Go fair. fuck yourself. That's fair, but I'm just saying it was half gone. That was my second cigar. Jeremy's on seven from this stream. Well, that's him. <laughs> that was my second cigar on that live stream. So, um, whenever it gets hot, man, honestly, like I usually, I usually don't have an issue. I usually don't have to relight a lot, and I usually don't have an issue with smoking too fast. Seemingly, uh-huh. when it starts getting closer to the nub basically and it starts getting hot i just put it down like that's still smoking good i have less than you i haven't had a like a hot draw i don't feel bad about it yeah i had a hot draw i'm like all right cool i'm good i it never got bitter or anything just got warm i just want to say real quick i saw we light it i bet it's streaming magic the gathering that is a level of dork that i <laughs> like, like dude there's, you can stream anything you want on Twitch that, except having sex. 
Here's the thing. Oh, yeah. I'm not making fun of the dork. Get away I'm, with wrong. It. I'm a dork. I'm I'm up at six o'clock in the morning watching fucking Mandalorian in my bed. So sure. I mean, I'm not. But I'm just saying, if you're streaming Magic: The Gathering, that is nerd level 100. Like, sure. it's like one of those games, like Dungeons and Dragons type shit. <laughs> okay, it's a card. <laughs> it's it's like you know what I'm saying. Like, Magic is a card game. It's it's like what they play on Stranger Things, right? Like they roll dice and they're like, the fucking Demogorgon mm -hmm. is gonna get me. And like there's a guy over here dressed up like a fucking wizard. And yeah, it's that kind of weird shit. Um there is at a certain point. <laughs> I don't think there is. No, there is. Okay, wait, hold on. Hey, Who said well, that? Hey, is there I'll dice bet in your magic? left nut that's inoperable, but there is dice and magic. They're both gathering. inoperable, but but you can have both. Uh, I don't it, need either. There's um dice and magic gathering. What were you gonna say, Jeremy? Those guys are nerd level 100. I don't know where was I at. What were we talking about? Oh, I don't know. You were you just inhaled like you're going to say something. What day is it? Oh, no, I smoke cigars down yeah. the nub. I haven't I haven't taken my Geritol today. I've, I've I don't know what the fuck's going on. Geritol. Um, oh my God. no, I um, those guys are definitely nerd level 100. But so, I love them nevertheless. Nerds oh, are great. A lot so, of people watch people stream Twitch because the person they're watching they find entertaining for whatever the reason. I'm saying right? so. It's like, dude, listen, if you come to our stream on Tuesday or you're here right now, you're there to watch us have a good time. I don't think anybody's here because we're spectacular at smoking cigars or drinking whiskey personally. Hell no. So I think people are here because they enjoy hanging out here, right? It's like a personality thing for them, probably, right? Or they want to win a sweet ass rocks glass, whichever one. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> What's the whistle pick verdict so I can unsubscribe? Um, thank you for the super chat. Uh, how, dude, how do you say that? The, the Scafidi project. Scafidi project. I think you actually fucking nailed I feel that. Like I, I did, think you did dude. I was about to say the Scafidi and I was going to fuck it all up. There's no N in there. I was, was going to throw a P it's Diddy weird. on it. Scafidi P Diddy um, <laughs> project. Um, yeah. But uh, the verdict is, this is my verdict on it real quick. And then I want to go back. I got another cigar question for you guys. The verdict is, and we got nine more minutes before we end. We're not going to, we may or may not end the stream, but I will end the um, giveaway. Um, the verdict is they've definitely changed my mind in the fact that I don't think all whistle pig is garbage. Okay. There were a couple that I truly enjoyed. I really liked the 12 year finished. I think that was very, very good. I liked the, uh, the store picks were very good. The, 15 year was hot fucking trash. Um, the 10 year is hot trash. So my verdict is there's some good, some bad. I feel like a lot of it is still way too expensive for what it is. I, I completely agree with you. I think the store picks are probably the best value for your money. Uh, based on what I had, the store picks that you said like 80 to $90, I feel like that's that's not unreasonable, and the taste I was getting and the experience I was getting from those is on par with other $80, $90 bottlers I've bought before, so I'm not mad about that. Um, but the $200 for this stuff and the $80 for that 10-year that tastes like uh, dick juice drained through a dirty sock, like, I'm out. I'm out. So that is the final verdict, the P. Diddy so Project. Are you, hey, are you still smoking the kombucha? I'm still smoking the kombucha. Yep. Oh and uh, no, he's on his third cigar. No, I've been, I, I smoke very slow because I talk a lot. <laughs> hey, well, I got that much left. It is a fantastic cigar. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. My. Huh? Oh, Alec will ask what we're Your mom was about. watching this? Are you fucking kidding me right here. now? It's a La Bucha. Some of her cussing yeah. like a sailor. Oh, La Bucha. Jesus, talking about dick juice. It's like a butcher. Oh, my God. You guys just missed it. Allison's mom is watching this stream, and I'm on here talking about whistle pig tasting like dick juice. La Barba. Uh, yeah, oh La God. Barba. So it's a butcher. Well, at least Thanksgiving's over. Oh, it's devastating. Hey, what did you do for Thanksgiving? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you were watching all this tomfoolery. I apologize for the language. She does know me though, so I mean she's aware that I cuss like a sailor, but I probably uh, Jeremy, I probably what did you do? A few things that I normally wouldn't say around my mom's uh, my wife's mom. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do for Thanksgiving, Jeremy? We just hung out. My dad, uh, you guys know, he's not in great health. Um yeah. so I am super careful about who I go around and stuff like that. So we just hung out with them and kept it super 
yep. small and it's we just nice. went over there and had had thanksgiving with my mom and dad and the kids and stuff yep. because it, we just have to be way more careful than most people because if we take any kind of anything back to him he, he's a goner man yep. he, he's so we're kind of uh chemo and all the stuff has just right. really worn his immune system down so we just have to be super careful For so we, sure. kept it, we kept it kind of low-key how right. about you guys um i literally just had thanksgiving with my wife that was it we 100 percent normally do like thanksgiving on thanksgiving off with my family and hers um because she flips holidays and it was like all right well i'm not gonna see anyone uh i don't want to do rona so as much as we like we're prepping up for our advent calendar it was like i don't want to see anyone i nope it's not worth it and i was like we have 24 videos we're about to put out if i get sick we're fucked for the entire month of december Dude, it's weird times right like you know yeah. i don't want to go too deep into the rona thing because it'll start getting a, be a bummer and we don't want to take the stream in a negative but no I mean it's it's beyond that it's like if i get the flu whatever my i'm my family um my wife like her family they've got a bunch of kids through their entire family my right. my my side of the family has got a bunch of kids it was like i don't want to see those snot balls i'm good <laughs> kids are germ factories i'm dude, good on dude, that dude kids um i don't are. i don't need to get sick we're about to put out 24 videos for december for our, our advent calendar um we have to be there for so we do batch them but still it's like i get sick good luck uh dan gets sick good luck so uh i just did me and my wife we had our dog we ran around it was oh, a good time you could talk Trump included his dog in this conversation i want you to know that what well, you get dog. dog well is i don't it, have kids as opposed so. to where was he during thanksgiving just being good dog. like we got rid of he, so he went to the parents we had a night off you know i like, left him out i put him on the roof this he is had how, a good time this is how this is a that's a, such a telltale sign of who has kids and who doesn't well, when somebody it, mentions their the dog thing, Dan, right like it's a, it this is a real thing yeah. prior to having kids yep your dogs are your kids 100 percent. it's a thing and most people he is a handsome know, man people, when they're young and married Mm -hmm. get a dog is kind of a test run for how right. it's going to go when they have kids right it's like, not going to be good <laughs> uh, oh, way, I, we talked to your thing. wife tonight we about this. your helicopter parenting while we're here shooting sean Just, uh, usually, sean usually has a webcam up so he can see his dog at home outside oh, yes oh, oh, wow. in his kennel he's been staying inside that that's next level, Sean. I'm gonna say Jeff yeah. Hamilton real quick says uh cussing what? while the parents are watching. He gave me five dollars just for that. So <laughs> thank you, Jeff. <laughs> I got a lot of fuck you, Dan. Dogs are important. You got literally one. Yeah, I you read got it. one. Not a I lot. Got a lot. <laughs> got a lot. Got one. That's how I mean, you know. We had like the 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 monitor for the baby when we had a baby. I, I have to say I was a little bit of a helicopter parent when my kids were young. Yeah. Like I was so afraid of SIDS. Right. I was so afraid of SIDS. Yep. And I like, had to I with my kid next to me because I was like, I had to message Dan when I learned about the outlet for oh, Dan. It was like, this is the best product ever in the world What's for the you. Outlet? Yeah. And then you bought one. And it was fantastic. Yeah. We just stopped. We literally just stopped using it. Yeah. Life changing What's, for you. What the hell is an outlet? It, it's a, it's a, you put it on her foot like a sock. Uh -huh. And then when she sleeps, it shows you, you can look at it on your phone, but it shows you her oxygen and heart rate. And then, um, if it, if they drop below a threshold, it like goes off and alerts you on your phone and on like the station, wherever you put the station at. So, so Dan, so you don't have to like have a monitor. And so, the, no, so we still have a baby monitor. So we can see her, but. Dude, that's next level. Yeah, so Dan, it's amazing. um, I can't even knock you for it. So Dan was a uh, very hyper conscious about, his children breathing. That's so weird, Jeremy, me. isn't it? That's weird. No, no, no. I, no, I, I, I literally preface this with, I can't knock you for it. Sid, so you're very hyperconscious shit. about them being alive. So weird. the owlet literally just lets you know if they're dying. Sid, no. Sid's was, was, was it Sid's that you were worried about, Dan? Yeah. No. Dude, I'm telling yeah. you, Sid's is the sketchiest shit because yes. kids fucking Terrifying. stop breathing. They yeah. just... you. Put them to bed. Everything's good. They're perfectly healthy. And then you go in there and they're not fucking breathing. Yeah. Like, that, yeah. 
and they don't even know why it happens. It's just yeah. like this random shit. It that's what scared me. I literally slept. There was like this fucking foam thing that kept the kid propped up in the right way yeah. to hopefully prevent. And I slept on the couch because they said you can't sleep in the bed with them because you could roll right. over on them. Could, so I slept on a couch with the kid in this thing next to me. And my wife was like, Jeremy, just fucking, it's okay. And I'm like, no, but if he stops breathing, she's like, oh, I'm going to die. It's true. It's true. I, I, I was paranoid, Dan. I totally, I'm on board. I put a mattress in Holden's room for about a month. I'm going to die. Room. Dan already understands this. I am literally going to die. Sean is See? the most helicopter dog parent I've ever fucking seen See? in my life. Another, yeah. another new parent. Sid's oh. is terrifying. Okay. Anybody yeah. that has little kids, man, is, fucking Sid's is some sketchy ass shit. Like, yep. Is. When you have. Dude, it's not even. David said uh, new dad. Hold on, wait. Right. Sorry, I got to interrupt. It's 1130. Oh, okay. So Run anybody it. who wants to get in a last minute entry, you got about 20 seconds because as soon as that thing says 1131. It's cut off. Cut. Yeah, I, I can't knock you at all for it because I am going to be the worst. Yep. Yep. The end. Alex said Sean would get one of those socks for his dogs if they made it true. Oh, 100%. Oh, my gosh. He meet you, man. Alec even said that's so overbearing, the camera. Yep. Sean pulls up on his phone. He's like, look, he's running around his kennel. I'm like, I would assume so, yeah, or that or sleeping because that's yeah. what dogs do. Those two things. I was a hundred and fifty percent extra for my dog. <laughs> I'm going to be a million percent extra for my children. I don't know what you want from me. I'm oh. not going to knock you for anything because it's going to be a trillion percent worse. I fucking hate Taylor. Why? I hate him so much. What do you text you? He 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 says somebody tell Jeremy to check his phone. So I, I saw that. Phone. He he texts me. See. Here's the problem with podcasting with Taylor Martin. He likes to get into Adobe Edition after the podcast and take little snippets of things that I say and take them out of context and move shit around to say shit that I didn't say. That makes sense. President. I love to gobble cock. I love to gobble cock. What is this? Can you hear that? No. Nope. Oh, 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 hold on. Wait. Just like. I, I'm, I'm trying. I hit the wrong button. I love to gobble cock. <laughs> <laughs> Could you hear it that time? Yeah, yeah, you like to gobble cock, I hear. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. God. Yeah, I hate Taylor. I hate him so much. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian oh. Craig said, uh, I bet Sean's one of those weird name parents. I'm sure. Uh, Jeremy, no. just started watching your channel. Thanks for the super chat. Gu Gustavo Val, man, fuck, I'm bad with name. Valdivino, Gustavo Valdivino, just started watching your channels, my man. Love your humor. Haha. <laughs> Real quick question: What's the best cigar for beginners? I'm 22 years old. Been looking for smoking some. Uh, man, you know I'm about to do a whole video series about this kind of shit. Um, hey. and, and the the junkies can give their opinion on this while we're at. Uh, by the way, the um. Giveaway is in, over, so uh, feel free. That's I mean, fine. Super chats, that's fine, but you're not going to be in the, if, after this point. So just so you know, I'm going to answer this, and then we'll 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 draw the thing here in a minute. I think I've changed my my mode on what I think is the best beginner cigar uh, last several months. I think a Davidoff is a great beginner cigar. Now, a lot of people will be like, "What the whoa, whoa, fuck? Whoa, what? Expensive cigar?" But Hear me out, God damn it! Go I see your faces. Hear me out. Go ahead. I had wildly different things. <laughs> Davidoffs are very smooth, easy smoking. Right, like wrong. They're non-abrasive cigars. So, if you want to warm into cigars, I feel like if you try a Davidoff and it's too much for you or it's too harsh, then cigars probably aren't your bag, right? Like you're probably oh, not okay. going to dig cigars. So okay. I feel like a Davidoff is the softest entry into cigars. Oh, um, such an expensive thing. But it's a yeah, very, I don't want to pay $30 a stick for it. Well, you don't have to. You can get Davidoffs for about 18, um, okay. uh, 18 to 20, probably in that range. But um, it is a little, that's the only kind of caveat, right? Is it's a little high sure. end for somebody to I try. I would rather go through it is my father's lineup. Man, it is chill though. Like if you go through a my father's lineup, and you're like, you know what? I know, but he's I, sa Jeremy's saying literally like narrow. You go down top to end. Yeah, he's like, you one. go top end on stuff. 
and you're like, you know what? I really don't like this. Probably not for me. I would say if you do a My Father's lineup, you get a much lower entry price for a cigar. The problem with and My yet, Father's though, and just let me just retort, is those are pretty strong cigars for the most part. They're usually, they're Nicaraguan they for the most part. They can. They're very, they, they're, usually, they're usually pretty peppery. Oh. And they're, I love My Father's, don't get me wrong, but uh. a lot of people are going to be a little like taken back by My Father if it's the first cigar they've ever had. Steve Connor had the greatest comment about it. He said, EB, he's, or wait, I'm sorry. Yeah. Project yeah. 40. Steve Connor said anything LFD before breakfast for beginners. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. It's, <laughs> if you want to get to die, and throw up. That's yeah. a great idea. Hey, real quick. If you want to die? Do, yeah. It's okay. Do the um, random. Can you do the Google dude, random? Uh, my father's lineup. I wouldn't. I don't know. You run through I that. Know. It's like a cigar noob. Not yeah. bad. How many, how many entries are there? Okay, there's 71 entries. So go to the uh, Google random number generator, do one to 71 and pick a random number. Allison's picking the winner right now so we can get the, so anybody who wants to dip out that's waiting and then we can we can continue um, on our, our rant for however Dude, long. uh, in she AB. 71 names? Project 71. She, yeah. Yes, What's your best uh, intro cigar? How about that? That's why I, I love my wife. I go with like a, I say Project Forty. I go with like an uh, like one of the lower nice end Olivas, so probably. Uh, yeah. what is that? Uh, okay, number oh. twenty five. Sorry, Sean, I didn't mean to derail you. I just want to say this real quick so we can let these people go. If anybody's yeah, wanting sorry. to get a huge ad, can dip. Number twenty five is the a Google random number generator. Like and, it. And the name was Ken Martin. There you Ken go. Martin. So Ken. Mark won one of these fantastic you glasses. One of these fancy schmancy, hand blown by a guy. <laughs> um, dude, I they love really, that. Really hand blown in Tennessee by a single dude, which is pretty cool. Um, go ahead and DM Ken if you're still in here. DM Big Idea Design with your information so that they can get it to you. If you do not have uh, Instagram for whatever, you can email sirestudioworks at gmail.com and email me your information and um, I'll get it to Chad. But if if you have Instagram, just DM him because then you're just taking the middleman out and, you'll, and it'll be quicker. So Ken Martin, right? Ken Martin, thanks for playing. Make sure you grab your stuff. I think Ken is a Patreon actually. Um, it, sound, it does sound familiar. Um, but yeah, congrats. Boom. boom. There he is. Can you, I, do you have, um, Instagram buddy? If you do big idea design and, uh, Chad will get that out to you directly. And Chad, thank you for, um, hanging in buddy. Uh, you're probably, you're probably ready to go to bed. So thank you for hanging in there. Uh, Ken Martin is the winner. You're in here. So if anybody other than Ken <laughs> direct message, you tell him to go suck a dick. <laughs> um, but thank you to everybody who gave the super chats. Uh, that was fun. We'll have to do that more often. So, all right. So that's it. Ken, congratulations. Chad's got the information. Everybody knows what they're doing. Cool whiskey glass. Fucking cheers. Um, all right. What, what, were, uh, what, now, what were you guys over there arguing about like old women? No, no, no. No, no, no. We're just sitting there talking about Sean, uh, cigars Sean was and talking shit. and I'm like, he's trying to give away the, the rules for the giveaway thing. So I just muted us. So Sean muted us so he could talk about the, the beginning. Oh, no, no. I appreciate yeah. it. I hey, Calvin, my man. I always got to say hey to my buddy, Calvin. Calvin um, is one of those guys, man, that he has been watching my stuff since almost the beginning and he comments on almost every video, likes oh, yeah. every post. He's just one of those just awesome dudes oh, that's always around. And he's like across the pond. So he's got, he's got a banging accent. Um, I really love people with English accents, by the way. I don't know what my thing is with British accents, but I love them. I think everybody Dude, from America does. So the last call, that, that was the one we were talking about. I was like, Dude, that's a fantastic beginner cigar. The Room 101, the, the farce. I think these are strong cigars. You're listing cigars we like now, which is the issue. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, well, and that would be, uh, by the way, Chad, thanks, buddy. I, I appreciate you. Chad says pleasure hanging out with everybody. Chad's the I, man. I hate just do fucking calling out like Javas. Definitely do the Stuff track. like that. <laughs> like the the farce seems such a good cigar. Yeah. 
like Gen now. Well, yeah, and see, I, I, I think that's where he's like it's simple. It's good. Like oh. it's well put together. Like I don't think it is like overpowering. Bro, your Room One One is not a big necessarily a beginner brand. See, when you think beginner, think it like is. Sean. And, and, and hey, everybody's got their own opinions. Maybe you think that those are the best cigars for beginner beginners, right? But usually for beginners, my thought is give them something approachable and not too strong because a beginner. Uh, it's going to, it's going to knock them. If they have a bad experience off the rip because they go into a cigar, that's too strong for them uh, right out. Then they might get turned off of cigars, right? Because they're like, Oh, cigars are strong and pepper. And, yeah. Oh God. And then it's going to ruin it for them. And then they might not ever where if you bring them into something a little milder, they can warm into it. Just like you don't want to give a guy who's never had whiskey neat, a poor, yeah, you don't give them bear proof. You don't want to give them stag junior, right? Because it's going to rip their, balls off and they're going to be like whiskey's horrible right yep. um, so that's why i say davidoff um i can't think of a more approachable cigar than a davidoff so i the it's such a weird thing because so am i Atta, I, I, agree I mean at the same point i'd be like okay get an atabay it's a 30 dollar cigar sure you can't like pair with like you pair it with coffee yeah it's an a, atabay would be another example coffee yeah, that, cigar. right that would be another like super approachable you know, easy. A lot of people recommend Connecticut's for beginner cigars just because Connecticut's seem to be a little milder. Right. I don't particularly like Connecticut's all that much. Yeah. So I don't tend to recommend Connecticut's. I think Dominican is oftentimes a little better um, for beginners because I feel like Dominican tobacco is a little bit less. So I said the Alec Bradley uh, Project 40. Mm hmm. Like oh, I think they're dropping their Project 40 Maduro like super soon. Yeah, like so the regular Project 40, like you smoke that, and you're like, well, it's a decent cigar. I like that. That's very entry level. Yeah. Um, you get a lot of flavor, but it's not like overwhelming. So here's my issue with the Davidoff thing. Oh, I this, hate recommending this, something that's thirty dollars a this stick probably, to someone this, to be like probably that's entry level to picking a cigar. So like I, I want to build up. So I, this, this when is people want to get man, a, uh, into whiskey man's issue right here. Price wise, Davidoff is not approachable. Well, think yeah. about like this. If you equate a da if it, if it, let's say we're going to go like a $20 Davidoff, which is lower end. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go $20 Davidoff, that's like a hundred dollar bottle. Like, that's like saying, I want to get into whiskey and you spend 80 bucks. Yeah. Fuck man. Like, I don't know if it's I like rough. whiskey yet, and you're asking me to drop a bill. You know what I mean? No, and, and, and that's why I said there, there's a definite caveat of I feel like that's asking a lot of a new somebody, who, and they don't even know if they're going to like it, right? So sure. they spent 20 bucks, and then they take a couple puffs, and they realize, hey, this isn't for me. <laughs> and then, right. you know, then they're super fucking bummed out. Right. Um, so I definitely understand that side of it. So that's why I always kind of say, eh, I think experience-wise, a beginner would enjoy a Davidoff the most from a, a new smoker experience, but I definitely understand the price. Point um, so okay, if you didn't do that, I would say if you're going to go in as like a, an entry level cigar smoker and you want to do something that is a little bit more high end, mm -hmm. I would do like a Padron 1964. Yeah. It was like comparable to that. That's going to be more expensive than a Davidoff though. What, what's the what's the Davidoffs are like twenty. Well, a Patron was it nineteen twenty six is like twelve or fifteen. Oh, or something. oh, I'm sorry, yeah, I got that wrong. I don't remember. Tw I don't know. I think twenty four is other cheaper. I don't know their naming scheme, dude. You know what could be a good one? A Monte Cristo. Oh, so yeah. I had, but a lot that of comes Monte back Cristos to if you don't are pretty mild. They're super mild, but yeah, those come back to like if you have a cigar that you hate, you're not coming back. And Monte Cristos, they are, while they're mild, there's some like I, funky uh, flavor. And maybe it comes back to Connecticut. The Monte Cristo I had was in Connecticut, and it had that. It definitely tastes like Connecticut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the I don't know, man. I don't think there's a best one beginner cigar. What Ooh. you should do is get one Connecticut, Ooh. one Maduro. Like get one of each wrapper, all like baseline strength. type cigars, and try the different wrappers and see if you like one wrapper more than the other. And try to trail down that path, I guess, because it's almost like picking a distillery, right? Right. Like you start with Old Forester eighty six. You're like, I don't like that profile, so you move to Buffalo Trace. You're like, oh, I like that one. Well, there's eight other whiskeys you can try now. At I least mean, we only really talked about loving Rock Patel, like the tenth anniversary. Mm -hmm. 
and we're like, eh, about like it now. Grown. Yeah. So it's like you you find shit in a beginner line that you like more than the others. Sure, of course. So but you gotta find the line you like first. I wouldn't Bearded yeah, Moon has Bearded Moon just had a really good suggestion. The Laranja is a good call. The Laranja the would that was in his pack. That was in it's my a, pack. Orange band. The orange one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good cigar. Yeah. And it's it's not aggressive. It's pretty mild. It's yep. it's got some nice sweeter notes to it. Um yep. yeah, I think that's actually a pretty damn and it's not an overly expensive cigar. I want to say it's about ten or twelve bucks. Yeah. Dude, the uh and the, the Antero? Romeo, whatever uh, well, the Romeo, they have yeah, a different well, size. That's a good that's a good sorry. They make really good stuff. What is size on that? It, the the Ranges, they come in Lancero. The one in my my pack was a Corona, but they come in um, Lancero. The ones I always get at my local places, Lancero. Yours was the, the Corona bundle, so it was a 46, right? Yeah, mine was like a 46 okay. by four and a half or five, four and a half, I think it was. Great smoke. Um, but that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a damn good... Um, <clears throat> Davidoff is overrated. Just take a look at your humidor to answer that question. I can't take a look at my humidor because I always have Davidoffs in my humidor. And also, it, it, and my humidor is also often empty because I smoke way too much. But wow. um, I don't that. feel like you can look at a seasoned smoker's humidor and necessarily make a good pick for a new cigar person because... I just had that same yeah. thought. I was like, I can't look at mine and yours humidor and think like, you know, I'm going to really do... Uh, entry level like smoke based on what we have right now right and that because, that I was mean, the same thing well because i will smoke an lfd triple lajero right like yeah. or double lajero is it triple or double i think it's a double there's a double no, no, no. Um, no like so what i'm just saying like we have like, a I'll lot smoke of that on an empty here. stomach with bre before breakfast with coffee and it doesn't yeah. bother me Holy right shit. you give that cigar <laughs> to a non-smoker that's never They'll had a die. before and they're going to fucking be yakking in the bush. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So it's, I don't know, man, it's kind of a weird spot. Yeah, but, <clears throat> but off of the new cigar. Oh, by the way, what's the guy that you guys just started working with that I'm going to start working with here before Dave too long. From yeah. Dave from cigar club. Yeah. He has Great a couple guy. different companies. So that's why I forget which one. Yeah. One of the projects we're going to work on because I wanted to do some videos, a video series of like some different cigar questions. I get a lot like this right. one right best beginner cigar i'm going to work with them to curate a beginner cigar bundle right of like five cigars three cigars five cigars that are all beginner cigars and then do a video talking about best beginner cigars and have the bundle so beginners can try that and they're all going to be available cigars so it's not right. like when we stop offering the bundle or whatever you can't still get them um so it has some shelf life but um we're going to put together a, a, some beginner cigars. I'm going to work with him to help curate that because he'd be a good guy because, I mean, he knows all the cigars, right? Yeah. And, yeah, he yeah does. He's got access to a ton of them. Right. So, it'll be, smart guy. yeah, it'll be easy to curate something. But the other question I was going to ask you guys real quick, and you may not have an answer to this, but it's kind of a hotly to, uh, debated thing in the cigar community. So, I always feel like it's an interesting thing to ask. How do you feel about lighting a cigar with a, a Zippo? And I don't mean like a Zippo Bro. like this one with a with a jet. I mean I, like I can't give a shit. Don't care. What does a bit have in it? <laughs> Propane. Is it? Or no, butane? It's, it's like butane, but it's a uh, it's a soft flame. Okay. So they don't burn as efficient. Okay. Well, so you get that yellow flame. No, I'm talking about a proper Zippo that's off. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, got it, like fluid. Dude, it doesn't matter. So like maybe the first it's couple the exact months. same flame, but it's how efficient it burns through well, everything. No, the thing that people say, Sean, is and and I disagree with this. So let me just say, and a lot of people disagree with me on this. This pisses a lot of people off when I say this, but this is my true opinion. So I mean, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, they usually stink, right? A lot of people's thing is because Zippo's not again, not the jet ones that use butane, but yep. the ones that have actual lighter fluid in them. There is a flavor because that's a had that Zippo fluid has a strong smell, and they are they are proposing that the flavor of that Zippo fluid is then pulled into the cigar and it taints the smell or the, the flavors in the cigar. Right. Listen. I do not feel that that's a thing. Like I, listen, fucking here. Uh, <laughs> I feel like no guy for sure. 
as you're lighting it, those first couple puffs, I can taste the fluid, right? Because I mean, you're actively drawing that through the cigar. But for um, me, three, five puffs later, that taste is completely gone. I can't notice it anymore. We definitely know a guy that is for sure still in chat right now. I just saw him here a little bit ago that he knows he can get a, a bick through on uh, his luggage. Uh -huh. And that's where he takes. That's where he takes everywhere. And he uh, he's blended a lot of cigars well, but that a we Bic is, really a Bic, enjoy. A Bic's not a Bic is butane, though. though. It's not. That's why it gets through. No, but, that's no, but I'm saying. saying he's, no, the argument is that the, the lighter fluid is leaving behind a flavor. So people are saying don't use Zippos because they use lighter fluid. Whereas Bix don't leave a flavor because it's butane. Right. It's unflavored or unscented, unflavored, whatever it is. Right, right. I'm talking Dude, about like <laughs> the, the real. first two puffs out of your fucking cigar taste like lighter fluid, and then the the other four hundred twenty don't. It right. Really, do who gives a shit? It's that, that, that all going to volatilize. That is in the my, first smoke do. That is my complete, and I smoke more cigars than most of these people that complain right. about this, right? But people get like butt hurt. I mean, but hurt. They'll see me like a fucking cigar with a Zippo, and they're like, oh, I can't watch your channel. How can I trust your reviews? You're using a Zippo. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, oh, my God. First off, take the fucking dick out your mouth and calm down. <laughs> <They're> okay. Down. <laughs> what? Oh. What? Allison says I'm not allowed to say that. Am I not allowed Alec, to say that? Hold on. Alec literally said I would light my cigar with a dumpster fire if I had no other option. Thank you. And Alec fucking blends cigars. Yeah. Okay. He owns or is is I don't know. He's not owner, part owner. I don't know. He's he's the his family owns a cigar company for God's he's sake. Alec from Alec Bradley. You right. light something on fire and then breathe it in. See what After a while, there. there is nothing that is a part of what you lit that on fire with. So you can light it on fire with a fucking garage fire, a mm -hmm. dumpster fire, a fucking bonfire. After a while, that's gone. Mm -hmm. So whatever you light your cigars with, sure, cool. Uh, what you're saying past the first couple puffs, it's gone. People, I, people I swear. Also, the people that argue against that swear it ruins the entire cigar. It taints the taste, and they can taste it through the entire cigar. We have Maybe also been told effect. by uh, the old Alec of Alec Bradley that if you condition your cigars a very long time with Bovitas, you can get a slightly salty salt. flavor. I think that is like a 1% of I'll, the people that will notice that, though. Yeah, I'm sure there are people... That. Sure. I'm sure there are people that would 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 notice it, like blenders and stuff that really know the ins and outs of a tobacco, like the back of their hand, probably yeah. notice little minuscule differences like that. I'm not disputing that that's not the case at all, but I no, just I, I think it's a very small percentage of people that actually you're would talking that. one in a million right. uh, people that will understand what that flavor will be imparted on the cigar. So right. I will give that the exact same rule. That if you light it with something that isn't a uh, butane, just fucking burning 100% <laughs> pure, or whatever, you're going to taste something. Cool. All right. You get a, a little bit of it. That's fine. It'll eventually even out. You yeah. get one or two pulls through. You cool. know, I had a, it just is what it is. I had a guy, the very opposite in my, uh, I think it was a guy in my Patreon that was like, please tell me the Zippo that you're selling also has the normal Zippo insert he's like i actually prefer to light my cigar with a normal because i enjoy that first couple puffs that taste sure. of the lighter fluid he's like i like that flavor so he he prefers to light his that way dude it's, um, it's like when people get mad when you know you don't use a glen or you don't use a rocks or you don't use a kenzie glass or what like in whiskey world there's it's the same dumb shit there's yeah. variations yeah it's just like listen man this is like this, we're using this to get to the next part of this journey, whatever the hell it is, whether it's drinking yeah. whiskey or smoking a cigar or whatever, right? right? And it's like, however I choose to do that, and then whatever I say about it afterwards, I don't give a shit. Don't trust me then. Yeah. That's fine. Right. We're not going to be friends if you get that upset about lighting a cigar with a Zippo anyways. Right. So how, well, how far do you, you think that the uh, flavor of the cigar that you're talking about is really changed at like halfway through. So you light it up, you give an initial review. You're like, all right, cool. That this is the flavors I'm getting. Right. So then like 30 minutes later, you think you're still getting the same flavor imparted on that, that flame that you lit it with. Like, come on. 
Well, I've also had people tell me that they don't trust my whiskey reviews because I always oh. smoke I always smoke cigars with whiskey and you can't get the true flavors of a whiskey with a cigar. Now, I will hey, say bud. I will say there is some truth to that in the fact that a cigar definitely changes the flavor of a whiskey for sure. My uh, approach to that is there are a billion, okay, a billion's a bit of an exaggeration. There are a bunch of channels out there that do straight whiskey reviews. They don't smoke cigars and are giving you clean palate reviews of a cigar or of a whiskey. I always, always, always drink whiskey with a cigar. I never have whiskey and not a cigar. So I don't give a fuck what it tastes like without a cigar because right. I'm never going to drink it that way. Right. So that's my thing. Um, but some people get a little butthurt about that, but I thought this was, uh, uh, interesting on a kind of a different topic, but this is something I get a lot. Uh, people having problems with their lighters, right? I think when you guys gave your lighters, you had a couple people that said they were having problems. Um, um, which, we had an issue with like the bottom part, which was weird. We had an issue with a, a very weird part of the lighter in one of them, but yeah. Other than um, that, it's like one in, you're talking one in 500. Yeah, well, 300 some. I find that a lot of people... I think a, a couple things, and this might not have anything to do with the bent igniter that he's talking about. I've never had it. I've had several Zippo inserts at this point, and none of them have had bent igniters. If you do have a bent igniter, you can always get in there with something small and try to bend it back a little bit. Um, the great thing about Zippo is their shit's all warranted. So if you have a problem, you just call them and tell them the bitch isn't working. And I think the inserts have like two year warranties, and the cases have lifetime warranties. Um, so you can always just send it back. But I think a thing that with all butane lighters that people do not do, is they don't purge them. And I have found that if I fill my lighter a few times, I need to purge it because I think air gets trapped in there. And then when I go to put more fluid in there, you don't, it no more will go in there. So it's, it's yep. actually out because there's so much air trapped in there. It's not letting the butane get in. So I found that if I purge it and then add it, then it usually works better at that point. Also adjusting the flame uh, over time that the burner gets a little off and adjusting the flame a little bit. Cause if, it's pushing that f that fluid or that gas out too hard. I feel like it's blowing too hard and the igniter won't spark it because the gas is coming out too hard to ignite. So sometimes you have to turn it down a little bit. Well, that's we've been told my tips a I've, had, problems I've had. Yeah, we've been called told. Wow. Well, I'm quit. Uh, hey, how do you purge your uh, torches? Uh, sometimes the pocket knife, sometimes with uh, my my uh draw tool anything that's small and pointy so i can get it down in there and shh, hit that yeah, little valve i'm gonna say that was something that we've been told a couple times that uh -huh. um you need to purge them out a couple times uh -huh. so they they get that weird trap gas in there that you uh -huh. need to give them a couple flips throw it down in there and give a little purge yep um it's just and that'll help valve, a right? lot it's just that little valve that you fill it. If you push that yep. down with like a small object, like, um, I don't know, like Taylor Martin's dick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have literally oh, had no, a, 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 a torch that was still in here anymore, but I had to give him a little dig I back to know, be in here now. My first torch that I ever got at the, the scar shop here in town. Um, I was having issues with the guy literally took a, um, a receipt, like the spike that they were using, uh -huh. flipped it up. Yeah. Just kind of mm -hmm. flaked yep. it out a little bit and would like filled it a couple times, played with it a little bit and goes, there you go. I was like, yep. Oh, that's all needed. Perfect. Yep. Uh, that, and, and it, 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 it just had like a weird air bubble in there. It fixes a lot of problems, man. It really does. But yeah, anything small and sharp, I use my draw tool a lot cause it fits really well. Um, like I said, sometimes depending on your pocket knife, you just be gentle. You don't want to snap the tip off your pocket knife, but anything that you can get down in there and you'll hear it when you push that valve down. It'll yeah. shh, shh, shh. And then once it stops making noise, it's purged and then you can fill it with gas and you're usually right as rain. Yeah. I bought it and it was like, dude, this is great. A day later it was like, this thing is not working huh. at all. And guy was like, here you go. I was like, well, I feel stupid. Thanks. Uh, great. Al Thanks. Alex said, don't purge with a pen if you do not have to. <laughs> No, because then they, you, yeah. that's fair. So, yeah, yeah. Hold on in there. I feel like I don't know what would go on there. Could you get like, dude? Anger? Imagine if that pen exploded. <laughs> I, just, I feel like that'd be your luck, dude. I would imagine that's happened at some point in time. Just ink, just. 
Oh, with the pressure blowing it. Just do it with a, like a nice fountain pen. Oh my god. <laughs> That's another good point. Good. This sounds weird, but there is shitty butane. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. it will clog the jets on your lighter, and then your lighter will not work as well. I feel like we bought an entire can of it. Yeah, I yeah. think I bought some of them. It wouldn't charge a single lighter we had that over like had, half. That might have had air. In, those might have had air in it though. But no, if they won't, if, and that's the other thing. If you find that your lighters won't fill up all the way, usually it's because there's air trapped in there. If you yeah. purge them, usually that'll fix the problem. But Makes no, but I'm like, I'm like shit. You know, low quality issues. butane actually has uh, I, shit in it. It's like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, in, water. Uh, what? What? Huh? <laughs> Water, maybe that's what Sean said. No, it's not water, it's like uh, impurities in the butane, and it'll clog the jets, right? Because the jets on a, a butane lighter, those are little bitty tiny, tiny holes that that gas is coming out. Yeah. Of. And if there's impurities in the in the butane, it can build up in those holes and clog them, and then it'll actually keep the gas from coming out. I think uh, Zycar actually makes one that will clean it. They're, they make a butane oh, really? that cleaner hmm. that'll actually clean the jets out. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. We're getting all kinds of education going here at the end. Dude, of Dude, I know. I just learned like four things. Mm -hmm. Impurities. Yeah, that's that's the word I was looking for. So yeah, low quality butane uh, will fuck your lighters up. It is better to use uh, like good low butane. quality gas. Zycar makes a really good one. Uh, I think uh, the one I've been buying lately. What, I imagine. Any I was gonna say, what's your go to? Yeah, this is the one. I've been, it's the Zycar. The. Uh, that's a nice looking bottle right there. It's fancy as fuck. The only issue that I've ever had with any of the, the cans we've had are like the plastic tip ones. Yeah. See? I don't like it. Zycar premium butane near zero impurities. Well, less than 15 parts per million. It's very low. If you're I wondering the, I, don't, uh, I was going to say Sean might actually have some info on that. Cause he's, he's a, he's a scientist I'd be interested to know if the shitty cheap butane over there has that statistic on it. Doubtful. Well, I know I used like cheap, Zippo butane that you would use just for like you know right. grill lighters and shit and, yep. and it, 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 fucked with, it fucked with some of my my uh, jets on some of my stuff and then I right. ran some good stuff through it and it, it kind of resolved a lot of it. But that that's a real thing. Uh, good good quality butane. It's not bullshit. That's not like some horse shit. That I've I've seen that with my own experience be an issue. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a a lighter that wouldn't. I think we had two or three in a row that just wouldn't fill all the way. Did you drop purge them? them? I never even thought about that. Yeah, you got to purge them. That's a that's a thing. No, we, I never purged mine. I didn't. Oh, uh oh, I never tried. Look who it is? Oh shit, Grant! We smoked your the cigars you sent, buddy. Jesus Christ! I've been waiting for that motherfucker. Thanks for sending those, dude. Drink your good. beer. Grant Hartwig. Cigars. Grant Hartwig. And we'll add that owl. other. Uh, that orange can one. Orange? Ooh, that blazed orange. Beer Ooh, is ridiculous. that was good. It's ridiculous. It's like, isn't Grant the one that does not like Stag Jr. though? Or Mayo? He, yeah. He doesn't like Mayo. But, uh, with Grant, I, I love you, brother. I really do. But uh, I just, I don't understand. And again, and, opinions, uh, taste is subjective. I get it. But man, Stag Jr. is just so fucking good. I yeah, don't he sent us these La Barbas. <laughs> I they're don't fantastic. It. Ugh. No. Okay. They're so good. There's one thing. He doesn't like Stag Jr. He doesn't right. like Mayo. I'll mm -hmm. forgive him. There are two things, though, that if he doesn't like, and I, I hope he doesn't like dislike either one of these because, Grant, buddy, I, I want to be your friend. I like you. Peanut butter and bacon. Not together. Just those two things. I feel oh. like... I was like, dude, that's a weird Might combination. Be a good sandwich, though, dude. Probably. No, but... Um, he... But if, you have loves to like whiskey. bacon and peanut butter. If you don't like those two things, I, I just don't know if I can. And he loves thing. whiskey and he loves cigars. And he beer. definitely loves beer. I know that. So, whoo. Well, glad y'all like Stogies. Dude, he those likes are fantastic. And cigars. That goes a long way. I swept way down. Dan, where's your at? He's, he's got like, not wait, that he's, much different. Like adorable. Like, not literally, not that much different. Adorable. You tried? This guy. Smoked like his you, first full cigar tonight. Whew, it felt good. <laughs> Jeremy, Jer, Jeremy's is fucking, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, dude. What the I'm fuck? Still smoking it. It's not done. That's his third you, cigar. It's not done. It's still going. Dude. This, this I don't really do that. This, this, this is why you like Dick will do it. Huh? And this is dude. why you think Kentucky All and Whistlepigger equals. 
I don't think they're equals. I'm not going to live that one down, am I? Uh, <laughs> no. I feel like that one's going to come back up just like me liking um just like me liking um uh fucking dick. Dickle. There you go. <laughs> he says dick. That's aggressive the way he said that. And he, he, he went like uh, hard with it. He's like like it's dick. Yeah, yeah, I'm expecting some fucking nudes after this. <laughs> um but uh yeah, I I I, I I I I I I wouldn't say they're the same. I'm backpedaling a little bit, but they're close, man. It's a different experience, but it's not. They're not. They're not miles apart. My enjoyment level was similar on both. We'll say that. Right. So it's tough, dude. As long listen, as long as we can change your opinion, I don't care to change your opinion. I, think I would love to. I dra- a I think little the bit. Whistle Pig is drastically overpriced. overpriced. I think every product they sell is overpriced. But so, if we can change it a little bit on store picks, I'm I'm, I'm I, acceptable I mean, with that. I even think the store picks are overpriced. Personally. You don't think they are overpriced? I do. Oh, Not, okay. I think like on I think the issue is like the the I don't know what you call it, the white papers on a whistle pick store pick, fifteen years barrel proof, awry, ninety dollars. That sounds like a pretty good deal realistically, but I don't think they drink. That they, they don't drink special. Yeah, and so. A ninety dollar bottle of rye, in the experience sake, I think is a little. I don't know. I don't think they're bad. I just think they're a lot of money. Do you see the comment there, dude? Adam, I'm not. All I'm saying is I'm not the only one. Adam is not not alone. I might be in the minority, but I'm not alone. This court, Adam is not right. I remember playing with it earlier, and like it's. And James Wright wants to know what uh, the flavor is like on the ass end of the stick. Hot. it's the same as the ass end on pretty much every stick. It gets, it gets, it gets a little tart. <laughs> it gets, gets a little bitter, a little bitey. And it goes to a very like, like the, the bitterness you get from like an espresso. That's like a strong espresso that maybe was a little like uh, under or over extracted, like bitter. I'm going to need you to drink a little bit. Of that. There's, there's more, but I, I actually like that. More than 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 hot. So there's that's more why it's hot. Um, yeah, dude, I, I can't, when they start, when they get hot, I'm like, all right, man, I experienced the good parts. I'm out. I'm here for the good shit. I'm not here for the bad shit. Okay. Mine is right there. Nah, hot. you smoke too fast. I'm not buddy. I, it took me an hour to get that far in the cigar and it's not a three hour cigar. Well, you're wrong. Oh, dude. Oh, br- by the way, let me, let me, we need to talk about two things real quick. One. I smoke them, and I've talked about this before, until it starts burning my mustache. When I start hearing sizzling, I know they're done. Secondly, these fucking things right here, Dummel, these little candies, Allison's over eating them. What the hell is that? Dude, they're like these little chocolate caramel, gingerbread caramel things we got at fucking Ikea the other day. Okay, at Ikea? God damn, they're delicious, dude. Yeah, they got all like they got all the fish. There's fish they got all the, involved. They got all the Norwegian candy up in that piece, or the Swedish, okay. or what is what is IKEA? Is it Norwegian, Swedish? They got some. These things are Allison's out. Everybody, Allison, Allison, everybody, she's out. Thank you, thank you for writing down seventy some names. Yeah, I feel like she's the real MVP. We you know appreciate I mean? you, MVP of the, the MVP, MVP of the live stream, MVP yeah. of the live stream. Um, secondly. I think I told you about this, Dan. Are, and everybody that's still in 304 people, thank you for hanging in this late, by the way. Um, have And I think I told you about this in a text, Dan. Are, are you aware of the Stroop? I think it's called a Stroop waffle. Yeah, you sent me the picture of that sexy looking chocolate waffle coffee situation. Dude, it's not chocolate, but it's... I thought it's it was chocolate. Like, you no, know, it wasn't chocolate. It's It's like a thin waffly wafer type thing okay. and it's about the size of a coffee cup right it's about that big around right and then it's got a thin layer of like a caramel type shit in between two of these little crispy buttery waffle wafer type situations and you put it they're made so you put them on top of your coffee after you pour it and you it fits right on top of your coffee cup sure and you let it sit there for a couple minutes and then the heat from the coffee and the steam warms it up and kind of melts the caramel on the inside yeah and then you eat them, dude, dude, dude. It, it is looks so good. And then when you explain it, let me I'm tell you like, something. Bro. 
you get you like an Atabay or one of those other, like a Cookie Monster right. or Uncle Polly's is another really good uh, um, coffee cigar. Right. You get a good coffee cigar, a nice fucking Cortado, <laughs> one of those Stroop waffles. Where'd you get those at? Get the fuck out of here right now, dude. I'm telling you, it's an Where'd orgasmic get- experience. I actually had a little pre cum in my pants. It was ridiculous. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my God. Where did you get them from? Can you say that on a stream? You can say it. I'm pretty sure you say whatever you it's want. It's your stream. Say whatever oh, okay. you want. Dude, I'm telling you, it was fantastic. Um, the wife got, got them at Costco. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Costco for what? For, oh, we were just talking about Stroop waffles on top of coffee to warm them up. Oh. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. The picture was. So I lame. mean, realistically, dude, the picture was enough. You know what I mean? Like, I had to go get the the people's champion. It was so good. Good cat. Because you know, it's funny. We were talking about uh, earlier. And if you guys get tired, just tell me, and we can we can end this thing whenever. We're, get, we're getting there, buddy. I, I'll talk forever. You know, me. right? We're getting. There. You know how we do. I, I got to get up at six in the morning. So oh Jesus! Know. Okay, okay. We'll, for what, we'll, Luna? We'll say a hard stop here and just you know. Okay. Short time. Um, we'll say. A hard stop at 1230 if we haven't stopped before then. Okay. Um, Is it 1230? 1210. 1210. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sean's going to die soon. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, I got to get up in the morning and finish this video that I'm supposed Been to. Oh, drinking for 10 hours straight. Oh, no. Let's um, do this. I just remember we got Did I tell you? the Because, uh, you know. Oh, is that Friday? Somebody had asked this earlier, Shit. and I thought this would be an interesting thing. Like, what is, like, your perfect, like, food beverage cigar pairing like mixed food in there so like for me one of my favorites is a good steak dinner yeah and then followed by a cigar with like a nice like stag junior friends like a good barrel strength something with a little meat on it or like a nice smoky scotch like you know something that's got some ass something that's you know after a nice steak dinner with like a good maduro cigar i feel like you almost have to go savory if you're gonna have a cigar 100 percent you kind of do. Or something like peppery. Like after you get done, you want something full body, just punch in the mouth. You know what? I haven't had it, but in my mind it works. That a nice um man, but if we're going whiskey. So uh smoked salmon, like a good smoked salmon from like a nice you want barbe- a bad one from a nice barbecue joint. Okay. With a cigar, maybe a Maduro that I really like. Along with a nice like 100, 110 proof. Yeah. Maybe like a, a low barrel proof MGP. Something like, like that. You're going to brisk it. I'm going to smoke salmon. Okay. So in my mind, I want like brisket with a nice Ooh. double rye. Something like that. Ooh. I want something punchy. But you got to go cigar too though. And then I'm going to go. Cigar <laughs> with food is, makes it way more difficult. It does. But I have found that fatty foods make cigars and whiskey better really like like not fatty like fried chicken but uh, that would right 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 like, yeah like, like a steak a, a like a steak claw. like a, yeah. a nice bone-in ribeye you know what i mean it's got a little yep. bit of fat in it and stuff like there's something yeah. about that savory fatty meaty goodness that like when you drink a nice whiskey and a cigar after that like yeah it's, it's fucking oh uh, man it's really really good it's really, really good. I, Dude, I did ha, have you had Jay London cigars? I you oh, had to have I, them. They I were in like that, so we wouldn't miss it. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I actually like the Jay Londons better than the Atabays or any of the other ones. Completely agree. That Jay there's London, more to them, and, and I totally forgot about that when we were talking about it earlier. Yeah, that is probably one of my favorite Connecticut cigars. Like yeah. I, it's, it's richer. It doesn't have that super cedary bright. I talked about this in my videos. A lot of Connecticut's to me have this kind of. They sit in like a high, it's like bright high flavors. I know that's sure. like a weird description, but it's it, like it's up here, right? Dude, there's, there's a Connecticut, really, there's a Connecticut yeah. flavor for, for right. It exists for a reason, yeah. yeah. Like, and I relate that in my brain to like up, like it's like high. They're bright, right. they're like cedary and bright, and I, that's why I don't really love them. That Jay London though brought it down. It was yeah. a little darker, had a little more of the caramels and the darker flavors that you get in some of the darker wrapper cigars. I, I thought it was yeah. fucking those Atabays, it was like I really enjoyed them. They were expensive. And it was like, you know, okay, but 
I only put those with like I wake up, I have coffee. That's an anime. Coffee's good, That's yeah. all you got with them. You can't pair anything else with them. Yeah. You can't like. 80 proof whiskey. You're like, well, wow, we're that's too about, strong. We're talking about Jay London, though. Well, you know, Alex. No, that's, saying, saying, that's why the, the Londons were better. They yeah, were they well, are, yeah. they were way pe- better put together. Yeah. Alex the, was saying the other night on you guys' stream that he likes a Connecticut with an Isla Scotch. And I was surprised by that. Hmm. He was saying that he actually. Yeah, like the light. Alex said that. He yeah. was saying that if when you go like yeah. Maduro against it, you're like got competing flavors. And right. It's better just to go kind of light and lovely, and it's easier to go along with the. Um, when you think about it, that's uh, a strong wrapper versus uh, like a weak finish on a scotch. Connecticut wrapper is a strong. No, no, no. Maduro. Maduro oh, yeah. wrapper. Dude, not all scotches have weak finishes. An Isla. Octomores? <laughs> is that an Isla? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Well, you picked the fucking top end of it now, didn't you? Well, like, all Islas don't have weak finishes. Like, the barrel-proof uh, art bags are good. I feel like 90% of them are fucking, like, I weaker. Don't I don't think so. Isla? That Lagavulin cast strength? Not a weak finish. You're picking top no, end. I'm just picking high-proof ones. That's yeah, that's difference. true. I think I think when you're used to, like, low-proof whiskeys, just don't linger, right? Yeah. And then you get a nice high-proof, any, I mean, even bourbon. A like, nice Isla, though, it... it, it that would introduce something that's like a little outside that, of dude. I gotta try that. I bet if you like a nice 90 proofer Isla, I gotta try a nice a, Connecticut. I gotta try I'm like gonna a little guys. Bit of briny. No, I gotta try Jay London with an Isla now, dude. I'm gonna Jay try it. Still better put together. 100%. Calvin, says, yeah, uh, Calvin said food definitely makes a difference. And I agree, man. Like my least favorite is Mexican. I don't like Mexican with a cigar. I don't like to eat Mexican food Spicy. and then smoke a cigar. It's, yeah. it's, it's oh my god, my Spicy lips would explode. I feel it. Yeah, it's weird. There, are yeah. there definitely some some different. You want something like Italian? You just want like rich, full flavored carbs. <laughs> yeah, nothing well, that's like nice and spicy. Thick. I feel like yeah, I don't feel like full bodied. Me- I love Mexican food, but I don't feel like it goes well. I don't think it's a good pre-game meal for whiskey or cookie. Sugar. Sure. I just, I don't dig it. But what I was going to say is I'm going to send you guys, um, when I send you guys the samples for the live stream on, or the podcast. Oh, yeah. More of those Gilgameshes. I'm going to send <laughs> you, I don't have any more of the Gilgameshes. <laughs> I'm going to send you some of these uh, Scotch malt whiskey s- samples. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Um. God, not for the live so stream necessarily, but just for you to try them because they're I'm they're just saying it's B roll. Oh. Um, uh, I always fuck up the name. Kalila, uh, Kali- Kalila, Kalila. It's a, it's a Isla Scotch, but I got a barrel koala strength. Oh yeah, koala. I call that koala. koala. Yeah, koala. It's, yeah, it's, it's Kalila is how you pronounce it. No, how I pronounce it is koala. Koala <laughs> is what Dan says. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. Dude, no, as no, soon no. as you said that, I was like, it's koala. I said <laughs> koala, dude. I n- now, and it's funny. The worst part about it is I say koala so much. When you said Kalila, I'm like, never had it. I had to literally <laughs> correct him. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that. He said he likes Ardbeg and Oa with the jam. No. I think See, Ardbeg- I got to try that. I'm not, dude. I'm not trying it. it sounds, you know, I don't it, like Anoa Oa as much as I like uh, Ugadal. It feels yeah, like I that, agree. Scott, should just destroy a Connecticut. And it sounds like any... I Just the peat seems like... But, I mean, it might mean nice. You get a nice soft smoke, right? I, and I, then you just get that strong fucking scotch flavor. Like, you get best of both worlds. you'd think that it would overrun it. Must when, not. when Alex said that, I was like, what? Because I would have never thought that in a million years. Right. But he obviously knows what the fuck he's talking about. So I was like, you know, anything he says, it's definitely worth a try, right? Sure. Um, he's done it once or twice yeah. right, exactly but like that would have been the i normally and have not been extremely successful in the past with pairing cigars with islas right uh, but i'm yeah. always trying to go for like the punch you in the teeth cigars because i'm trying to find something that'll hold up against all that smoke and, and right. you know tar and stuff that you get with the uh, islas but maybe that's the problem is maybe you just go in the very opposite direction and if you can't beat them join them you know right I, mean? I don't know yeah, I, I got to try it, man. That's so interesting. I want to try, and I haven't done it yet. I don't think, in, unless I did and I don't remember. I smoke so many fucking cigars, I forget. <laughs> I, Get really your wanna, I really want to try a, uh, can, what the fuck is that cigar called? It's a Drew Estate. Um, it's a Kentucky Fire Cured cigar. It's Kentucky Fire okay. Cured Tobacco. But have you ever had one of those cigars? 
Mm -mm. I know what you're talking. I've seen the label you're talking about, but I don't I think I had them. It almost smells like Isla whiskey. It's very smoky. It's got a smoked meat Ooh. smell to it because it's <sighs> it's fire cured tobacco. So right, so Kentucky fire cured tobacco. When they're curing the tobacco, they hang it up in barns, and they have these fires in the bottoms and all the smoke it's not like a fire we're just going to catch them on fire but smoldering fire and all the smoke is going up into the rafters and smoking the leaves so the leaves get this like really barbecuey smoky kind of flavor huh. to them. like you got to be careful when you put them next to other cigars in your humidor because it'll make your other yeah cigars dude smoke smoky. that's interesting it's wild that um like we talk about that and then like earlier we were talking about like a, a smoked meat like that that meaty characteristic of the A and V pick. Right. Like that, that's what I get. Like that's the exact note that I am trying to portray in that pick mm -hmm. that you're describing right now. That's in a I'll, cigar. I'll, I'll, I'll get it real quick. Hold on. It's right here. It's not far. Oh, uh, cookie. My, uh, friend oh, my I got some claws. Oh, he's a good, good cat. Is, I've never even heard of Ezra cigars. I like the podcast. whole thing is uh, Ezra Seven. That's I showed what it reminds me. Yeah, the other night. Um, but I don't know if you, I don't think you guys were in there, so I figured I'd bust it out real quick just to show you because I think it's pretty interesting. Yeah. A, a package. Friend, a yeah. friend of mine that's in the tobacco industry sent me this and oh, having a bag, and I was going to hang it up in the room, but man, it's so strong. I don't know that I can hang it up. Must. It. Is that just an entire fucking leaf? It's it's a Kentucky fire cured leaf. Yeah. So that's how they hang them up, right? There's like this ball Holy here. Shit. They've tied the tobacco up, and this is like several tobacco leaves. And they hang these up in a barn, and then all the smoke. I mean, if you can smell this, dude, this smells like okay. it smells like. When brisket. are you paying someone to come fucking roll that for you? Somebody said it looked like meat curtains. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I you need pay. to pay someone to come fucking roll that for you. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Gosh, that, that is some deep curtains. Oh no! Wait, hold on. Those? What? How do they smell? It's it smells like brisket. Really? Like I haven't hung it up in the room because this entire room would smell like like a barbecue joint. Man, that's interesting. That's kind. Of, that's super cool, dude. Yeah. But that's so in cool because I'm trying to I'm hoping maybe it'll like fucking fume off a little bit, and like not be so strong where I because I was going to hang it up as like a decoration because it's right. a cigar room. But um, it's so strong, man, that like, I mean, it's 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 pungent. What the hell? That's so cool. Just get rolled. It's amazing how soft they are, too. Really? Yeah, they're very they're very they're you would think, you know, they would be dry and but they're yeah. not. They're very pliable. It's almost like a thin sheet of leather or something. Well, That's I mean, so interesting. You, you want your cigar not at fucking dry as shit. So it makes sense. I know, but they look so fragile Yeah, because they, they look so dead. You know what I mean? But so those aren't it's I mean, it's extremely pliable. Like, yeah, and I guess that's how they can roll. Here? No. Oh, fuck. I want Al to know like I or to tell us like what percent humidity like leaves a roll that wet as fuck oh I'll, I, really? I don't know the exact percentage but i'll tell you that's a reason because uh, i know when we did our my bundle that was one of the problems we had was that's why it took long for the bundle to come out because a couple of cigars that were in the bundle they rolled for the bundle and you know brian was like hey we're rolling them now but we can't get them for like 60 or 90 days because they're so wet when they roll them in order to keep them pliable and stuff. So they don't crack and stuff while they're, you know, manhandling them that you can't sell them for, they have to age for like a while for that humidity to get out and for them to kind of stabilize. Interesting. So, I, mean, it, uh, I know I have talked about like the 30, 60, 90 yeah. on like aging. Well, part of that's the sick period too. Yeah. So part of that, the, the, apparently the cigars don't taste good in that period of time. Like a, yeah, I think Alec was saying that a lot of cigars taste really good, like within I think two days of rolling, and then they're not for like ninety. Yeah, and then they're good again. Like the sick period is basically over. It's like I think it has to do with the leaves, like coming Hearing? together. Yeah, because there's they're like basically the you're basically blending. Yeah, there. you're doing an infinity bottle yeah. at that yeah. point in time. Yeah. Like you got to let things mellow. Yeah. Dry out, get together. It's the oil, I yeah. believe it's the oil from give, the leaves. Give, give them a little marriage. 
Yeah. It's because cigars are crazy, man. Like, yeah, it, it's, wild. it's one of the reasons why I like cigars, and I think you guys do the same with whiskey, right? Is anytime you get into these hobbies, it's always interesting the depth, right? Like, right. all the oh. shit that you don't know until you really get into it, and you're like, oh, there is a whole nother level to this shit that right. you can get really as into. deep as you want. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. Cigars are it's crazy, man. Look at that. Hold on. You, you are something. What the, okay, you can't even hold down your hand fingers, dude. All right, Gosh, I'm man. at this. Oh my god, I I call that at that. No man, this this thing still got life in it. Oh my gosh, dude, that's the most ridiculous thing like, you've said all night. And you said some shit. You know wait, what I mean? No, dude, it went out. I'm gonna um, because I wasn't, I was talking, but I'm gonna give this a little relight. <clears> and uh, give a, well, give it a couple. You're in a. Give disaster more, okay give it a couple more pulls i mean the live stream we got five more minutes for the hard stop and uh oh gosh, i don't want to be man. without a cigar so i might as well keep <laughs> it going. i'm petting a cat and he just fucking knocked it all over the stream the stream the table <laughs> yeah <clears throat> the stream. I admit, it's getting hard to smoke yeah no shit. I would, dude you can't hold you're gonna burn your fingers before you get any farther into that cigar i got tough fingers dude <laughs> him holding up holding up that Beef curtains. Where's your Where's your toothpick? I know it's over there. If I could reach it, I would. This is normally where I would go to the nubber. <laughs> my gosh, man! I don't. I can't get to my nubber though, so I'm just gonna. How? Oh, okay. Somebody. Oh shit! Somebody asked a question earlier, and I wanted to answer it, and now I completely forgot about it. For us, for him, well, for who? Well, I think that we were tagged in it. It wasn't that. I see. Uh, you need to get truly. Oh, somebody asked uh, what wine door video is coming out. We're talking about the odd do is what it's called. 150 count. Uh, oh, yeah. It'll be let's, out. Um, let's tomorrow. take the last couple minutes for whatever. What, what you guys got going on? Um, tomorrow the odd do video comes out, which is like a wine door cool door review. It's on sale right now. We have a 10% discount code yeah. coming out with that. It's 150 count. Um, just a wine we call it a cooler door because yeah, it same thing. It it literally has cooling capabilities. It's uh it, make it, it the, um, little. You can watch the video tomorrow for all the yeah, stats. <laughs> yeah, we can do all that. But it's uh, a great little unit that we're we're gonna review. Uh, we got that on Saturday. We have another Monday coming out, which is the all your senior. Advent stuff. So when's your Advent stumps to starting up? Tuesday. Tuesday. So Tuesday. Monday right? is, the, is Tuesday the first. The 16 year, what is it, Rocky Mountain? Yeah. Yeah, Rocky Mountain High West. Yeah. So that comes out on Monday, and then we start our advent on Tuesday. Yeah. Now, you guys that are thing. animals for that, by the way. Like that many it's videos. Fun. God damn. I, I, it's I a lot of fun. No, we wouldn't sure. do it if it wasn't. And this year, I think, is the most fun we'll ever have with it because we crowdsource it through Patreon. So we have 24 days of patreon samples that we're going to go through it's com competition between me and dan for proof in price is the main one distillery yeah. for a tiebreaker um it's gonna be fun that's awesome I, I just man i i can't do it i would love to do something like that but like i just i know me and there's no way i could get that many videos <laughs> Oh, that's so many videos, man. Yeah. That is so much work. But um, I mean, it's awesome that you guys do it every year. Dude, when you think about it, it, it makes sense. We have 24 dedicated videos. It, it is a lot of work. We have 24 edited videos every day. But you know what you're doing. Yeah. So we, we just batch them out. We sit down. We do a couple. We hit them. We're done. That's the entire video. There's oh. no like idea get, creation behind them they're like what are we doing for this video what are we doing for that one it's like all right all right we got day five let's do that bell. Cool. Pop, 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 pop. yep well and we have a lot of fun doing them so it's easy it's fun it's awesome you guys do it almost every year and i think it's we great have. i always enjoy watching them every year but man i just I, from from being a guy who does video creation i can uh, respect the amount of work that that takes <laughs> that's i mean a lot like of the, when there's like so much lower like everything's statically set up for the most part unless we need to move it for something and during right. advent now we don't have any other videos to shoot except live streams right so i actually, I actually told dan 
this seems so nice because like there's no there's nothing behind it it's literally 24 videos of us just cranking them out right we shoot them we edit them that's it there's nothing behind it it's so fantastic from that standpoint of it well i officially can't smoke any more of this because <laughs> your your fingers are gonna Dude, fucking i don't burn off i don't know how you're holding holy it. shit it's just the cap yeah, that's yeah, I, cap. I can't smoke anymore. It's done. I, your V cut's got to be damn near touching the ass. I think that was a straight cut at that point in time. Said he V cut it. Point is, I got my money's worth out of that fucker. Uh, <laughs> you didn't. Not no get kidding. Your money worth. That's for sure. <laughs> um. So okay. So to wrap it up. Uh, that's what you guys are doing. Me. I've got. I got a vlog coming out. Eh, probably in the next day or two. I've got a gift guide. Are you guys doing like a gift guide of any kind? Like a whiskey person gift guide or anything? Mm -hmm. no? I'm doing like a guy's gift guide. Um, probably be out in the next week. Uh, I got to start on it here in the next couple of days after I get this video done. So it'll be out in yeah. three weeks. So no, it'll be, I've got to get out. Like, Cause you gotta get people time to get the stuff and they have to be able to order it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I got to get out like the first few days. Of right. Number. Um, the ashtrays are dropping soon. Oh shit! Ooh, shit! Um, people are going to be super butthurt about the price, but I can't help it. They're expensive as shit. Uh, wait, wait, hold on, they're like soon, soon. Probably within the like. I we could have already dropped them. Okay. I wish I had I one to bludgeon and Dan to death with. with. Other stuff that I've been doing, we I have not had the time to get the photographs and stuff for the website and for okay. chat stuff and all the marketing. I haven't had time to do that yet. Because sure. I've been editing and shooting a video. Um, but as soon as that's done, I'm going to take like a, a half of a day and do a bunch of shots and stuff. And then uh, they're ready to go. Um, but I mean, we don't even have that many of them because they're, they're so fucking expensive to, right. order, to order batches of them. But so they're going to be a pretty limited drop. But um, I think we are going to do like uh, uh, I talked them into like, kind of like an inaugural price. Okay. Right? Um, I guess it's safe to say it on here. I mean, might as well people, whatever people can go ahead and start freaking out. Um, because I mean, if you, you guys knew how much they cost us to make this price would not seem so crazy because they're expensive as shit to make. Um, but the price we were originally gonna get due was three fifty. was what we were going to go. For. You have one sitting next to you. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, it's a solid block. It's got a bunch of ashes in it right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and like you know, Chad explained it. It's generally machining is about fifteen dollars an hour, and it takes them like I think he said like eight hours just in machining on each ashtray. And then there's obviously other expenses, the raw material, yeah. all the stuff. So I mean, you can do the math. Shit gets real expensive real quick, and they weigh like five pounds, so the shipping is <laughs> not cheap. So, uh, but what we're gonna do is. I think we're going to do 275 for like the inaugural drop, like a, you know, kind of like a limited, like first batch kind of thing um, to try to, you know, make it a little more affordable for people. Right. We're kind of losing our ass on them a little bit at 275. I mean, we're not losing money, but we're also not making much at 275. But um, I think it's worth it to get them out there because they're, they're cool. And I think people will enjoy them. Uh, they're super fucking cool, man. They um, are. But yeah, we got those. I'm um, running a Black Friday sale on the glasses and the Zippos. 30% off. 20. 20. Oh, well, I lied. I, <laughs> I thought I just watched your story. You were close. I thought it was 30%. I'm sorry. 80% no, off, off, Sean. Uh, it's, it's actually free. It's a, Sean says they're free. Um, Hashtag free. And I think, that's, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's about all that's going on with me. Cool, man. Hey, well, so, thank you for having us on, buddy. 100%. I appreciate it, man. And I know you guys hung in here late. I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody that joined in tonight and chatted and hung out with us while we shot the shit. And we'll have to do this a little now that I've done uh, now that I've done a live stream on the channel. Gotta give him a minute here, Chief. What? I'm telling oh fucking Sean, okay. you can't talk while you're talking. Wait. <laughs> you mean? Yes, well, you can. Watch this. I'm That's still pinging there, Chief. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now that uh, I've we've we've pop the cherry on the channel for the uh the live streams we'll have to do this a little more often look <laughs> look at you two bickering like an old woman i get <laughs> for some reason sean's got control of soundboard and can't fucking stop talking <laughs> i can't hear you I, I don't know what you're saying 
<laughs> I, but dude, you no, gotta no, shut it. I'm gonna smack the fuck out of Sean on the screen. <laughs> no, just keep going with her, dude. Right, we'll, we'll let him out of here. But I appreciate it. What I was gonna say is, now that we've done it, we'll have to do it a little more often now because uh, this was fun. We'll do it a little more regularly. Sounds I'll try to keep you guys up till. Maybe we'll start at eight next time, so we don't have to go till twelve thirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, we'll just go till like two thirty if we start at seven. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, look All right, buddy. again. Thank you for hanging out so late. I appreciate you guys coming on and helping me with this inaugural run. Thank you, buddy. It was fun. fun hanging out with you guys. Appreciate it, dude. Oh, thanks for the samples also. Oh, no worries. I was, you know, uh, we, listen, I didn't I know mean, that you were going to love any of them. So <laughs> we sent them a year ago. I'll try to get the samples mailed out to you guys this week and we'll get you hooked up with Taylor so you can send the samples to him and okay. me. Because I think it's like the ninth we're going to do that thing on yep. the podcast. So we'll get all that lined up. Okay. Sounds good. All right, man. guys. Appreciate everybody. Love everybody. See you guys later. Later. I don't Patina, know. Patina, I don't Patina, know how to everybody does in chat. I don't know how to end it. How do I end it? End broadcast. End broadcast. Peace, bitches. <laughs>